Alrighty. I think we're ready. Good morning, everyone. How you doing? Welcome to Media Boxing Tea on Amazon Live. Wonderful Sunday. We have TikTok right here today. Turn that back down a little bit. I don't know why always my mic is lower. Oh. All right. I don't know. I heal myself lower. All right. So how we doing, everyone? Super Sunday. Again, Sunday morning. Um, that's everything. Everything good there? Everything is wonderful. Everything is well. No good. It's well. Okay. It's well. Happy well. Sunday. All right, I think uh, now. Okay, I fixed the volume. Everything is good now. All right. Yes. Yeah. I don't know. My voice was lower. I got the little guy over here with the Christmas decoration today. No, oh, at least for the whole month, we're going to do some uh, Christmas decoration here. Get the spirit going. All right, so today's Sunday. I love Sunday to start with a good uh, tech talk. So if you guys have any questions, right, on any type of product or even uh, tech related, you know, come over, you know, and Talk to us. We'll try to help you, right? That's the idea of the show today. Absolutely. Welcome to Media Boxing Tea on Amazon Live. Today is a wonderful and happy Sunday. We have some snow going on the background, and we have the Baby Yoda giveaway next weekend. It might be Friday or Saturday. Therefore, stay tuned for that. And remember, on December 21st, Xbox Series S giveaway. That is going to be around 6 p.m., something like that. Yeah, so let me flash Daniels. Yes. We're gonna keep it. <coughs> we're gonna give away this little guy. Big child animatronic giveaway. Media boxing tea. Next week. Next week. Yes. Yeah, yeah. It's next week. Weekend. And I come coming weekend. Yes. So anyway, and let's begin the show. I think uh, the, everything should work perfect. No, not really. That, I have to bring that up again. Oh, here. What is my title effect? Yes, yeah, here. Right, Star so. Wars The Child Animatronic Edition 7.2 inches tall by Hasbro. Serious inspired sound. Animated toy. Force activation. You can force it up too. All right, so yeah, I know you were talking about cool now. Begin this thing. All right, so how we doing, everyone? This is Dario from Media Box ENT. And uh, behind the camera. Made Always ready to answer all your questions. Let me know what you're looking for. I'm going to go and find it for you. Yes. Yes. Right over here. We love to chat. So come over, right? And chat with us. Absolutely. Right? And what well, you need to follow Media Box CNT. We have so many. Open, you know we don't have anything on the screen, right? I know. Okay. I know. So oh, it doesn't show, doesn't show yes, anything. Yes. We have a bunch of open boxes, great coupons. And you know what? I also, know. we have a bunch of giveaways, too. I'm going to see if we can um, put this up. All right. I think that's uh, better. All right. That's good. And that's good right over here. Can we have that going? Yes, we have that going. All right, guys. So today's a uh, tech talk. But in the beginning, we're going to start with the least little guy. We, By the way, next week, we're going to keep this away, this little guy. Friday and or Saturday is going to find a yeah, nice and new home. This is a child. And the way it goes is you have to be in to win it. So you are to here and you take it. All right? Absolutely. And participate. We and ship it to you. And we ship it to you guys. So let me click here. Let's look at the page. Right? Hello, Swar Sway. Welcome to Media Box CNT on Amazon Live. This is how you do it. Let me show you the link. Yeah, so enter right there. Copy paste the link. Press follow. Once it says following, take the screenshot and send it to the email that you see on the screen. Yeah, so and we that's how you enter. So we have two things here. Super welcome. We're gonna have like the the child, right? <laughs> From the Star Wars next week. Either Friday or Saturday, you have to be when it and you, you have to, to be in it. it to win it. And then the on December twenty first we we're, we're gonna give it away the Xbox Series X. It's gonna be after uh, six o'clock Eastern time. Anyway, we're going to shoot the email. That's going to be a Monday. Yeah, that's going to be a Monday. We're going to shoot the email to everyone to remind everyone what is coming up. All right? And that will be it. Now, uh, an easy way to get to that page, 
Okay, so I don't think you can copy URL is by going to Media Box NT, a space. Amazon. Amazon, yeah, grab your search, whatever search you're using, and and you should show up in the beginning, and that will take you to this page right over here. You will see this page, right? And uh, simple, just click here, follow, and then you see our uh, uh, homepage right on Amazon. Make it simple and easy. All right. And there you have, oh my gosh, there you have a whole bunch of videos. I uploaded about 250 videos yesterday. So you will have uh, a bunch of tutorials, things we use all the time, things for the home, electronics, computers, uh, toys, everything you can think of. All right, so let's go with this little guy. This one is a Star Wars The Child Animatronic Edition, 7.2 inches inspired sounds oh, let me from know. the series. Let me turn it on. Star Wars The Child Animatronic Edition. He might look like Baby Yoda, but his lovable creature is called The Child. And now you can become his protector with this animatronic toy from Star Wars. Yeah, right there. Touching the top of the child's animatronic edition's head activates over 25 sounds and motions combinations, including happy and excited, giggles, and bubbles, and more. All while the figure head moves up and down, the ears move back and forth, and the eyes open and close as well. Everybody will have a lot of fun with this. Yeah. It's an animated toy. Yeah, that's because my uh, my green screen, I'm going to turn it off for a second so you guys can see. Because uh, I think you can appreciate better people now. So I'm going to turn that off. Let the magic go. Yeah, I'm going to turn it off now. All right. Animated toy features motorized movements, a head that moves up and down, ears that move back and forth, eyes that open and close, and way more. Force activation, serious inspired sounds. Touch the top of the child's animatronic edition head to activate sound effects inspired by the Mandalorian, including happy and excited giggles and bubbles, tired and sleeping too, and the force effect sounds as well yeah let me go there for let me see one two three uh no one two three i think it three times three times is the force it yeah, let me do it okay Ta try si tra three times stop it like um soft like when you touch okay one two three see Ah, uh, there, there, the force. Yeah. So what happened is, you guys tap it three times, and and when you tap it three times, it does. It's after force. Now it will keep going for maybe about ten minutes, I think, and then after ten minutes it stops and it goes back in auto save mode, and and requires uh, three batteries, double A. You have to take the screws out of here. And then there is a switch around the back. The switch around the back, it says uh, off and try me and on. So whatever the effect uh, you want to put. I, this is on. So it stays on and it will go <laughs> for about, I don't know, like I could say 10 minutes. And, and then it stops. And to you reactivate it back again. And the way you reactivate it is by touching the head. So if I go like this, you, you don't need to tap it. You just go like this. And it just starts. See, sometimes it starts, sometimes not. Hold on. Go. Now. Yeah. And it moves. And maybe automatic will go back and start it again. And do the same thing. Okay? For me there not doing anything. For me not doing anything. That is crazy lovable from Star Wars The That's Child Animatronic Edition. Make it yours right now by clicking the link below. And also, guys, also, also, we give it away next weekend. Now, you see that. Next weekend is going to have a new home. You see, automatic, it starts with uh, going there. Yeah? That's uh, real cool. Nice. All right. Real nice. 
Now, uh, yeah, and uh, we didn't put we didn't put the little thing here. Which one? No, no, it has like a little. That's because necklace, the necklace. necklace. Yeah, because uh, we do, didn't want to take out of the box since we're gonna give this away next week. Uh, I'll let you guys do that. We just took the little guy. So this little guy, yeah, see, now sleeping. Now the guy, little guy, is sleeping. All right, sleep it right over here. Welcome to Boxing on Amazon Live. Enter to win. Copy paste that link. Press follow. Once it says following, send it to the email so you enter to participate. All right. So we mix. Let's I, go uh, to the snow. Yeah, let's go to the snow. I know this is tech talk, but uh, we have a little bit of everything. This is tech. It's uh, yeah. This the super tech. Yeah. It has some tech inside. It has a chip and the batteries. And uh, and uh, much more. It's from Star Wars. Yeah. Technological no. stuff. No. Yeah. Yeah. It keep, keeps going. I was going to keep going for a little bit. And let me go back to my first page. And since we are, since we are right there, right? Why not grab that and grab the the razor, right? The, the man. Yeah. The Mandalorian spaceship. Right over here. Let me get to there. Now this one's a lot of fun, guys. One thousand twenty-three so pieces. Many pieces. Oh my, oh my. This is the Lego Star Wars number one seller, the Mandalorian, the Razor Crest. Kids can role play as heroic warriors, the Mandalorian, and play out action-packed Star Wars. This one is like over a thousand pieces. Unlimited role play adventures. This cool starship construction model comes with four Lego minifigures. And the IG-11, that's the guy with the long hair that you can see right there, right now. Yeah, that's the little guy right there. Inspires creative play. Authentic play experience. Fans can reimagine exciting Star Wars and Mandalorian scenes with the Lego brick-built recreation of Razor Crest. Spring-loaded shooters. This bounty hunter starship is geared up for battles. Carbon hold. The hold opening size doubles as access ramps. Carbonite bounty. Carbonite element in the hold inspires imaginative play. Detachable escape pod. The escape pod adds to storytelling options. Opening minifigure cockpit also. Two minifigures can fit inside the pilot role play. Four Lego minifigures. Includes fans' favorites, the Mandalorian and the child. This is a great gift for the Star Wars fan. The Mandalorian number one seller, the Mandalorian, the racer. Everybody's getting this one for the holidays, I think. Oh my, oh my. Yeah, we need to get a, we need to build this thing. We had to build this. It's gonna take like, yes, some <laughs> space and yeah. Mm. How it's do they work with the cats? Ah. Huh? How do they work with the cats? Oh, yeah, with little pieces in the cut. Yeah, that's yeah. weird. Nobody show up yet. I know. Where's Pixie here? Mm -hmm. Before, for a little bit. No, well, that's okay. Which is Pixie hanging out right over here. And it says we have new, um, let me see, new Star Wars devices below this one. There are two there. Um, let me see. Okay, if you go below. Okay. Uh, uh, you have the red one. I have never seen that one before. All right. There, the red one. Oh, this one? Top. Oh, that one? Yeah. This is the 20th anniversary edition building kit. This is the Star Wars, but I don't know what part of Star Wars this yeah, is. I don't remember this one. I don't know. Oh, what is this one? 20 year celebration. That's from 2000s, early 2000s, I think. Okay, NIV, yes, because. Let's see the video. Oh, uh, when then? When was this? 1980, 79? No, 20 the years first one. What are you talking about? No, I know. Yeah, but this is like 40 years now, if you think. I don't know. What was the first one? It says 20 years anniversary. Yeah. So maybe that's one of the early 2000 then, something that way. All right, so let's check this. Let me know if you were able to send the email this way. There you go. I don't remember seeing that one ever. Uh, no, I don't know. I don't know what type of spaceship is that one. I can, you have to look some of the old shows and, and feel it. That's pretty big. Yeah. 
All right. Yeah, so that's pretty big one that I want out right there. All right. So guys, by the way, if you guys look in this, people says, okay, how do you get to that page? This guy's inside the Amazon. Yes. Uh, the simple way to get here, guys, grab Google and search in the media box CNT space Amazon, and you will get into this page. And what happened is you see our live stream right now. You see, yeah. this is us right now. And then we have a bunch of videos we upload. So we need to upload 200 last night. Like 250, yeah. 250. Like, I'm so happy, yep. And then in, uh, right over here, we have two setups, two builds you can try. We have the AMD bill, and then we have uh, also the Intel. Because we have people who love Intel, other people want to try AMD. Now, this proof that we work all together. I will say to people, if you want to change something, you can maybe give it a try and change the graphics card. Now, the graphics card I had over here is the, um, the Series 3000. That's hard to get right now. But you can always try the... Uh, 2070, 2060, you know, can That's always to be replace your own it. own gaming computer. Right. It's just great. Yeah, it's great chip here. Powerful, powerful computer. We got all the. I uh, should put a note now because not allow me to put a note. All right. So, yeah, and reader here, I just put a little note right on each thing here and whatever. And I can put, I can only put so many characters here. But one thing, be careful when you're changing towers. We have to make sure that if you're going to change in tower, make sure your cooling you system will work. You everything they are, otherwise you'll be in trouble. Yeah, but this will work. It will work. You can always, you know, change your tower. But this is about what I have here. And if you guys, this is a gaming PC. And then I have another Intel gaming PC as well. So we had a great motherboard. And it seems to help. Once again, you can always replace the car right, if you think it is necessary. Great memory. I have the memory too. Great power supply, super quiet. It's a super quiet power supply. Now, 850. So, give you a lot of power, a lot of power to do all the things, right? Input. Now, if you want to build my PC, this is what I did in my PC. This is all the parts and to build my um, gaming uh, slash um, editing, be able to edit 4K videos. And this is what I have. Right. That's all my display. I have half a dozen displays. Yeah, not three. Three of these display 4K. Great, great displays. And this is my motherboard, the Prime Asus too. So it's good. This is my tower. Macho Media has the same tower, same company, but the red color. And this is my power yeah, supply. Really. Yes. And you get that uh, from this page. All right. That's great. What I want to go over, Menina, and let me see what we got here. All right. We got a bunch of good stuff the consoles? here. Huh? The consoles? No. What I want you to add here. All right. Let me see. The we can. We can add one more thing here. Hmm. I it's a tough to one. Something out, but I can. All right. Yeah, all right. That's fine. I can. I I travel to there. All right. So we have uh, uh, three type of mics. I'm seeing it here. Let me see if we can. Um, there are like Mozart. four, I added one more. This thing just became popular, let me see. Okay, let me put all the mics on top. Are you gonna move the mics? Okay, let's go over some of the mics and I'll tell you what is the difference between each mic. Because uh, time to time we have that question, people ask me, okay, what kind of mic I'm using right now? So, we just gonna move. Later on, we're gonna talk about the Xbox Series C S. I did a nice video, so actually, uh, we we're gonna make a whole entire video, but I'm gonna get a piece of those videos that are not completely edited in one. But what is nice, I show you this P. Put this P where I will take an S and X. So I did that test. Series X and Series S. Yes. Oh wow! I didn't know. Wow, oh, that's a good mic. I never see that one mic. Mm -hmm. That mic. Yeah, I discovered it last night. Yeah. So we're gonna be testing that, and I show you this P. Also, we're gonna be plug it in an external drive so and because the question on on the xbox on time is okay what happened if i plug in an external drive it will work the same as the one in the internal one the one you know the one you have a cartridge and you plug it there that, that one is limited about one terabyte eventually they're going to create more they are available there but i think as you can see one so the idea is if you're looking to put a bigger drive and actually, it's cheaper. 
if you put your own drive it will be cheaper because with the same amount of money you get for the one drive there i want to write you can maybe spend two four but once again it all depends what kind of hard drive you're gonna or what kind of uh, the hard drive you're choosing to use an external drive but i did a little test here and we're going to run the clock i ran all the clock and compare boot up on the same time i split the screen around the metal <coughs> sorry and it's a nice cool test and it show you what will happen if you really go load the game from internal drive and external drive mm -hmm. so we're going to do that later on gonna pop those videos here and, and I'm going to cut it because I did voice over. I'm going to do voiceover until you let the video go because the video is not full edit and it will be nice. So, time to time, people see me with this mic, right? And I tend to change mic, it depends, depends on the pop of the, 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 depends on the show I want to, I want to do, right? We want to make. This is a tech talk, so I feel like this is a good mic for um, what I'm doing today. And if I want to be a little free, I'm going to use a wireless mic because I want to make sure there's nothing in front of my camera. So we want to move around. So the one I'm using right now, it seems to bring a lot of attention every time we, we're using this mic and people, because it sounds real good. Uh, if you guys listen to the voice, it sounds a real good voice and clear and not much uh, background noise. Just a little bit I notice now because I think I open my mics a lot. But let me see. And I think it was, was Menina mic, maybe. What? Mine is good. No, 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 no. I, I'll be able to hear your keyboard. Oh, But my that's, that's because, uh, oh, yeah, your compressor is not uh, working. I see. Let me see. It's weird. I can hear well, you. You should change the mixer. Yeah, there. See? Tap in the keyboard now. You typing? Yeah. See, it's off. <laughs> How do you hear all of that? You're not supposed to hear that. Because, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You've been here for a few days already. But oh. I that's a compressor. So we want, and, and I think next week, we should, we should get together and, and set up a nice mic show. Uh, the whole title about mics. We, I'm going to keep it a little up today, but we want to make a nice show on mics because there are a lot of things you can put together here. Like what I did. See, now Menina's typing with a keyboard and you no longer hear that. You say, how you did that? You bring the gain on the mic? No, not really because you still have the same volume. But I got, I got in a compressor and a limiter where I, where I take some of the sounds I don't want to hear. I, I, I compress the sound and it's a gate where it allows you to up to one point, the sounds goes in on that end. So you no longer hear the Chiquita keyboard or anything. The yeah, I see it right there. I see it right there. So the mic I'm using right now, that's at the AKG. I'm going to click here. The C in 214. Now, and this type of mic, it does require a little more, not more work, but I say you want to set up a show this way. You're looking to set up your own podcast. You want to start your own show somewhere. YouTube, Twitch, or whatever platform you decide to use which is just well okay we get you here just for fun right or it can be in a professional level it requires a little more work in a sense because this is a dynamic and um, a dynamic microphone so dynamic oh, microphone she likes a child press ahead huh oh yeah you can see it there all right yeah so in a way yeah she always put the tail around my face all right yeah, yeah, but the problem is uh, sometimes she's uh, strong and she'll be able to. She, the other day, she pushed my display all the way in the back. Mm. Yeah, all right. You know what? Touch the child's head. I don't think. One more time. See what she does. All right. Not anymore now. She's ignoring it? Yep. Oh, no. Yep. Oh, she's leaving now anyway, I think. Yep. Yeah. Uh, Gosh, she's heavy. Huh? She's heavy. 
She shook everything. Yeah. Now, for this type of mic, it requires 48 volt phantom power and an XLR, the cables. So this is nice if you guys going to hook up to a mixer. So if you guys going to hook up to a mixer, it's perfect, or, or some type of console that we have here. But another way to do it, another way to, guys, if you want to connect it, because this is not USB. All right, so this is not USB. So how are you going to connect it around your PC? So you guys, what do you need? So here, as we see, I'm sure you're on this page. Yes, you need a mic, you need a cable, and you need this device. With this device, what I'm gonna allow you to do now, it will allow you to connect your microphone. You activate the 48 volt. Now, for this, we can use either dynamic, we can use either dynamic or, or condensed microphone. Condensed microphone doesn't require 48, uh, 48 volt. So if you're gonna put a, a dynamic microphone, that's fine. You're not active with the 48 volts, but this is the bridge between the analog microphone to uh, convert into digital, because this, in reality, this is analog microphone. It's not a digital microphone. So it needs to exchange it, that signal, and so the computer can understand. And this is an interface. What is nice, because you can control the game, can hear, allow you to put also the one quarter uh, banana jack right there, and headphones. Because in the manual, because remember when you're going to use these type of devices, what you hear, right, is the real time from your mic right to the box. After the box, there is no way you can manual that because will be a delay of maybe a few, a second or less than half a second. That's enough to hear an echo. So you're going to go nuts. You can. So you need to hear what is coming out right there. Now, while your computer is going to process or whatever you use up to there, that's a different story. Then maybe up to that point, you can plug another headphone or disconnect the headphone, plug in and output your computer, and you can hear what is coming out right your computer. Now, if you're streaming, but games get a little more complicated now because whatever you if whatever is coming up is always what delay. So you need somebody to double check that. It will be you yourself that what becomes a little complicated because how are you gonna do yourself out if you're streaming, right? And so what you gotta do is you get somebody you know some sometimes the people right the other side will tell you it's a problem, right? If I we have a problem right now, people say you have a delay or you got an echo, you got something else. So people are nice to let you know if it's a problem. If not, everyone keeps it quiet, then you need a, another person goes and check it. And let you know, yeah, you sounds good. Then we do time to time, we do here, you know, I tell me, okay, can you check it? So we'll be, she grabs the form and pops the form and listen through to the form. See if the sounds sounds fine. Because right? sometimes you got a problem, there is a delay. But sometimes the delay is more the software than other microphone. And nothing to do with that. But I want to say if you're going to hear that. So for this type of mic, that's guys, what you need. That's what we use in the studio and that's what we need to use too. And then we have all the type of mic we switch I have a three or four mics we, we switch around. Depends the location, depends what on, what type of sound I want to catch and what I'm doing. All right. Absolutely. Let's go back. And you're going to use this one if you have the AKG Pro Audio C214 right. or microphone. If you right. Or if you're going to use any other mic that is uh, condensed or dynamic. So what I'm saying, Nina, is if you're gonna need this mic, he always says. I think we have other companies we we choose to to one two different ones we can choose on the top of mic, right? But yeah. we're gonna we're gonna create a nice show. I want to create a show on mics, have all my equipment, right? That we we use in the show, and have a nice tutorial for you guys planning to start your own show. Or that. So we're gonna we promote it about in a week. I'm gonna try to get all the mics. We want to create all kind of different mics. We can test it here. And either condensers or either you know dynamic mics, and either USB. USB are the most simple ones because it doesn't require any extra. I'm not going to over that in a second as well, too. Exactly. Yeah, and this one, yeah. by the way, um, yeah, it has uh, the large um, uh, frame here, as you see, and it comes with a nice carrying case, right? So if you guys use it occasional, you can always put it back in the case for a long time keeper and it has the jack mount so no sounds right it will go from from the arm uh to the microphone i'm not trying to touch much because even if you if you tend to play around with the mic see it will grab sound a lot of people sometimes grab it 
But this is a good one. This is even if I'm well, only you only get chiquita or uh, touching it all the time. Besides yeah, you don't hear that. Have to touch it. Right. But sometimes, yeah, sometimes I can grab it from here and that's fine because this is also a great arm. And when we do mic, we have to put arm as well too. So let's see if we can get that all together. All right. Let's see if we can get some other mics. We can do a nice show. And up sometime maybe in a week, let's see if we can pre-set up the whole entire show when we promote it with time. So you guys get ready for that. Absolutely. Now, then another type of mic that becomes much. That's it. This you is. You want to see the one that I found yesterday? Let me see the one you found there. So now it's not that the, it is it's more complicated or not. It just requires a little more. But also they have different type of sound too. So let me see what I got here. I mean, uh, I got to check this one out. So these are Audio Technica 1082 Stereo. Oh, this is a stereo mic. Yes, by the way. The rest of the, the mics I'm using right now, they're mono. I'm right, sorry, mono. So this is a stereo mic. Hmm. Oh, that's what the mic looks inside. Pretty interesting. It's a condenser. All right, this is the way to catch the sounds. That's the last picture is I've never seen it before. Huh? I had never seen the last picture before. Um. Yeah, that's the way, the last picture, that's the way you grab the, the scales or how to grab the sound on a different frequency. But i never seen that one. Oh, no. Does it give me... Um, it's like a flower. The first two ones make sense based on the max that we have been seeing, but the last one is... never seen it. What? Um, it says a scale is five decibels per division, right? The first one. And then the second one and the third yeah, one says... Yeah, right. Depends on the what the frequency, how the... How they're being captured. This is the degrees of the mic, right? Yeah. So that's the degree, 0, 3, what do you got? 330 to 70. So it depends if you are around the from, right, how the sound is going to go. Like this one, the one I have is like a 180 because here it's not going to catch any sound, right? So catch sound what? from here to here, was it 180? About, maybe, maybe more. I don't know, you have to look. It's like yeah. a half of that, all right? This. So in this case, you see here through the size, right? It catch catch more sound, and now now to this this is zero, right? One eighty. So it gets from from this side, right? Three thirty to two ten, one fifty because it's stereo. You see how the mic looks? Yeah. It's like two heavy mics. So the sounds, mm -hmm. the sounds gonna catch here, right? And here. Just like a lollipop, like an ice cream. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> around here, right? And if you look the graphics, right? Yeah, it depends on the frequency too. Mm -hmm. See this one, eight hertz. Okay, should be a nice mic to try. Yeah, this is uh, an stereo mic. Because it gives you a lot of information on this type exactly, of mic. Exactly, that's exactly what I'm looking at. Like, doesn't tell me if no it's had <laughs> Doesn't tell me if it's a dynamic. Doesn't say anything. Uh, not only that, but also they don't have any video showing it in detail. So mm -mm. it can be a condenser or dynamic microphone. I'm not. I'm not sure. Uh, I will have to create a more search. Okay, I use XLR. Yes. All right. Let's see more. Okay, you finally get an excellent. Uh, okay. Best result. Maybe it's a condensed. I, I don't I know. I was trying to read the same. I was actually trying to read the same. Yeah. Yeah, this one, I'm not sure. It requires a little more. It requires me to do a little study here. Yeah, let's look at the reviews. Amazing the base. Uh, yeah. No much either. Nice microphone, feel recording, okay. And ambient recording. Right. So you're going to catch more uh, sounds, mm -hmm. more, uh, that's why they use like a boombox. It's more like a field recorder. So this is going to catch sounds in, in a room or catch sound if you are uh, in okay, outdoor. Okay, I the link on the triangle. This is an 80, 22 a stereo yeah. microphone. Right. So 
it's good, but depend like for us, you're gonna catch. This is a fixed charge back plate permanently polarized condenser. Okay, condenser. All right. XY yeah. stereo, twenty to fifteen thousand HZ, low frequency, eighty HZ, eighteen decibels octave, open circuit. Right. I see here. Oh, they use battery. Okay, because I say, how are you going to use it? Let me see. Oh, batteries? Yeah, let me see. They were uh, XLR connection with phantom power or the microphone. And requires to use two AA batteries and a 3.5 millimeter mini jack up to the connector. So there is two ways. Yeah. Well, because if you're going to use on the field, how are you going to get the 48 volt? How are you going to power up that? It's a stereo 120 degrees. See, yeah, it's right and open angle so you're going to use this Mia, if you are in a more um and i don't know i feel if you're going to be recording sounds outside oh you got two like people the talking guys no it has no. a shape like the news guys one yeah but news guys is different okay. so this is two sounds so maybe somebody there's one in the left and one in the right so you got the, the different uh, sounds or if you just want to record some field sounds or um, inside the room and you can catch that type of sound. I don't think as much as a podcast. It's, it's this way you want maybe two people talking, one in the left, one in the right. Or field recording again. You just take it out and do some field recording. All right. And if for me, it will not work because uh, you will catch my sound. And maybe okay, so yes, okay. So we would like the news guy probably sitting inside. I don't know. I don't know. Because it yes. even has a shape of it. It don't mean it. It has a shape because you can hold it with the hand. Yeah, okay. Mm. That's the idea. So when it records some field sounds, that's what it is. It requires a little more. I, I got to see. It's something we need to test it to see how that thing works. Um, but allow you to use battery, so it means you can take it out. Right? And that's why it is that way, so you can hold it with your hands. I see, yes. The way it is. Not oh, yeah, you're right. Right. The ones that we have doesn't even have the no. that option. <laughs> it makes sense. No, yeah, that option exactly. Because you're not going to take that in. That's that's it's using different. Oh, who's coming now? Pixie. Is Pixie coming now? Okay. Can we see her? Let me see what she does. Oh, bitch! Don't care. What happened, Bixie? Oh. Okay, we see, we can see her head a little bit. Yeah. Oh, she's looking at the guy now. Oh. But I think she don't care much. I don't think she gets a scare. Oh, oh yeah, a little bit. Oh, a little bit. All the eyes open. Even she has a funny eye. They are full open. No, oh, she took the tongue out. Do it one more time. I don't think. No, that's it. You're not going to pay attention anymore. Oh, yeah, yeah. But the camera doesn't catch that. The camera doesn't catch. All right. Yeah, she smells the stuff because uh, normally that stuff is not here, so that's why she she's going around right now. She's she's smelling the case, the acrylic case. All right, okay, that's great. We're and good. That, yes, we're well. And then we have the one that is super simple for everyone to use: the famous red one, the HyperX. Now, so if you look at two mics, the HyperX is uh, simple to use. Doesn't require any external, external um, box or anything. We just connect it. I guess a different type of mic, because maybe the mic to go because uh, it's easy to install. It's going to work on your Mac, your Linux, your Van to uh, PC, even even you can connect your PS4. I don't know the PS5. But this is PF4. I will see. I will 
say why not if it works on the ps4 it should work on the ps5 as well too but it's simple to connect and uh, let me switch the screens here so simple it's simple to connect one of the nice thing has uh, this one and uh, you can turn it off and turn it on right from right from the mic uh, it has a nice cue so you can see right away right when it's on or off all right so you can see when it's on or off right over here on the top and and also what you can do too is control the gain volume from here so instead to go to right into uh, uh to to the control panel or me i need to go to this one goes super simple now yeah. after seeing the other ones you will see this one is like a piece of cake yes yeah, different so for me instead to go to the mixer i'm just go here and control it if i have to turn it off a mic i have to hang myself there and, and just turn it off from there so this one we can just do it here now it comes with the shock mount too i still i will not play around too much with this i'm just put it there because it's still even though it has a, the 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 whole system is floating it still it sounds can go through if you plan around if you start touching it should not be touching those mic a lot you know if, if you care about what is going out there right and so you see here the controls the gain control and at the same time we can like we show you the stereo mic right we show you before like stereo mic so this one you can connect the stereo or me directional right so it will grab the sound all around so let's say now you are um, sitting at the table with three or four guys talking about the latest game they have a conversation you want to record the conversation no matter what if you want to sit on it so you're going to put almost directional now the got the cardioid and that's one the hours pointer right now that's exactly what i have right now here podcast talk show one guy's one guy the value one guy cash my and my sound and not the not the rest right absolutely or by directional so let's say now that i'm going to get a, another um person here and i sit i'm going to do an interview so the guy is sitting in front of me right so we all talking i put the mic right in the middle and i want to catch that type of sound yeah and it's so simple to set up because you can see by the drawing exactly what you're looking for. So it becomes super convenient. It's not that you have to be an expert or you need to have another Yeah, yeah, yeah. if you look at the bottle, it's you what it is. Yeah. Absolutely. Depends what you use it. In my case, mm -hmm. my case, if I get this mic, most of it will be always set to cardio all the time because that's what I use it for. But maybe there is a occasion you want to record some stereo sound. So you go the stereo sound. Exactly. And this one, yeah. you know what? It has built-in anti-vibration shock mount. Isolate the mic and suppress the sound of unintentional rumbles and bumps with elastic rope suspension. Tap to mute sensor with LED status indicator. Use the convenient tap to mute functionality to prevent an audio accident along with the help of the LED status indicator. If the light is on, the mic is active. If the light is off, you know that the mic is off, is muted. Four, as you said, four selectable polar patterns. Choose between four polar patterns, the stereo, omnidirectional, cardioid, bidirectional, to optimize your broadcast setup and keep the focus on the sounds that you want to be heard. Yeah. You have the stereo, it's good for vocals and instruments, omnidirectional, multi person podcast, conference calls, cardioid, podcast, streaming, voiceovers, instruments, bidirectional, that is for face to face interviews. The uh, mic mount, or you can get it separately. Yeah, and, and you it has one for the table. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, right for the table. Or you can have it set it to arms. Now the nice thing too is you can, in connect, right on the side you can connect your headphones. Mm -hmm. Right, you can connect your headphones too if you want. That's real nice. So you don't need like go and to a computer or go on they need the tower in my case the tower is here so i have to get an extension or something something to put right if i have to hook up it right on my right on my tower is in the floor now people keep it right in the desk so you keep it right there it becomes simple oh, that's heavy. 
Yeah, people people put it around the desk. Yeah. Most of the people keep in the desk, right? Depends your setup. In my case, will be crazy. I won't need a bigger desk for this, just for that. Or you know, you want to take a picture, be able to show off the computer, so you put it around the table. Um, but if you put that on the floor, now you gotta get an extension. You will have to get some type of extension to get your headphones connected there. The one I'm using now, they don't have an extension. That's what I'm using. And for this case, you just get the USB plug in. Maybe you need to get an extension. I'm not sure. It depends how far you have your computer. And you know what I need? Mean? Something hot. Like a yeah, I was going to make tea, tea or coffee. Okay, I'm going to make both. Oh, make coffee or something. I need something to drink. Okay. And so the way the way you hooked up this case, you put it around your computer, and then automatically you can hook up your your um, your headphones. Become simple, easy guy, guy, and it's just it's different. And it's now the one is better than the other. They are all good mics. It just depends what you need and what is the occasion you want to use it. How you gonna set up your setup? You wanna set up all USB, simple, right? This is simple too. If you guys, there's a lot of now a lot of training going online. If you're gonna set up a training online, you need to have a good mic. Not make the mistake using the mic right on your laptop. Because that sounds terrible. Sounds good. Maybe if you just want to do chit chat with your friends or whatever, have a Zoom call with the friends and family, right? And get connected. But if you really want to move to more professional level, if you want to be training people online, you can. You know, you need something to be close to your mouth. Sounds good. You can't have your laptop close to yourself because then everybody will see your face your man, yes? You don't want that either. So you have to make sure you know you have a nice setup. And the way to do it is by having this type of mic. Now you can go the other way around like me. Right? I went everything analog through mixer. That's a different setup too. Works great. I, I have different controls. Allow me to do little things. And here, if you want to control the gain and limit and all that, you have to use it through software. In my case, I use all hardware. Always hardware is better than software, always. So if you go that route, it requires a little more equipment, a little more cables, a little more just in things. But always in hardware, it works much better than, than software. All right. And another one, this is a Blue Yeti, another uh, gray mic. It's real big also in the community of podcasts and it's streaming. All right, so yeah, that, that what I showed you, they are all good mics. They are all, I will say, about the same level, right? At least the ones in the USB version, right? It's a lot, it's another story. But if you're going to USB, it's two different mics. That's the same thing. It's a real big in, on the community as well, too. You will see a lot of uh, YouTubers use this, you know, a lot of Twitch guys. Now, again, this one is a uh, great mic USB for the streaming. You connect to your PC, Mac, Linux, whatever PC you got up there. I don't see why not. You can connect this one on uh, PS4. It has a case like the other one. It's USB. Should be able to connect it. None of these mics, it requires any software. So what it means is just plug it in and that's it. Then find the name of the mic. It should be Blue Yeti. The drivers or the controller, and that should be it. But it doesn't require you to download anything. You control through your software. You use uh, OBS, OBS is gonna control it. You use Zoom, it's gonna control it. You use Skype, it's gonna control it. You use Wildcraft Pro, it's gonna control it as well too. So you don't need to go crazy at all. All right, and I guess this one, this one, this one goes with the game if you have to. Yeah, a lot of other uh, gamers use this type of mic. Now, again, there's a volume control, mute button, run the from, so you can see when it's on or off, so you can turn it off as education. And we have the volume control for your headphones. We can connect the headphones in this. But not only that, now we can control the same way. We have the, the stereo, we have the omnidirectional, and the other one, what was the other one? And I can't remember what it called, stereo. 
omnidirectional and bidirectional. The podcast, I call it podcast because it's, it's the way I remember this thing. But to make this simple in English, so this one, the one over here, it's going to be the stereo sound. This is the only direction. It means a, a round table and you got a bunch of people, you put the mic in the middle and everybody's talking about conversation, right? This is what I'm using right now. You see the way the, way the sound wave goes? Because I want to catch the sound here. I don't care what's going on the other side of the mic. And this one, right, this side, right the other side. So if you have an interview, put the mic right in the middle, facing each other, and the mic goes in the middle, and that's the pattern. So that's the way you set this up. In fact, the other one I was just showing you before. Different style, see? And allow you also to hook up if you want to hook up the arm. And I'll show you here, you know, what they use the SoundCloud. And let's play the video. I don't think this one to show you much. But to give you an idea, yes, uh, how to use this mic. They have the different colors as well, too. And <coughs> for this type of mic, again, yes, we can use it for gaming, you know, get connected with your friends, you know, voice recording. You can just set up that way, this type of mic. Or if you guys use it for the streaming, if you set it connected to the PS4. And voice over the IP as well, too. Yeah, good. Oh, yeah, good coffee. Nice espresso, double oh, shot. There you go. Yeah, so this one is another uh, great, great mic, too. So it keeps going, yeah. That allow you to... Uh, and set up and yeah yeah same mic and this one comes in different colors too and uh, yes. yes usb mic so this one is similar to the red one right yeah yeah just different company just different you know look um again it's real big and they use this on on uh, different a uh, lot of twitch guy and youtubers they I use see. the type of mic and you see everyone has almost the same setup. Guess if you're going to be talking, you're going to use the podcast more. Yeah, that's no the video from the seller, by the way. Oh, that's somebody else? Okay. Yeah, they give you an idea. Oh, yeah, because it keeps playing automatically. Yes. That's why. That's why. This is a Blues Legendary Broadcast Quality Sound. Makes a professional difference for recording, streaming, and building an audience. Custom 3 capsule array produces clear, powerful bro uh, broadcast quality sound for YouTube, game streaming, podcasting, conference, call, and music as well. Onboard audio controls, studio controls for headphones, um, volume, pattern selection, instant mute, a microphone gain, put in charge of every level of recording and streaming process. Okay, I give you an idea there. And what yeah, we, we need to get a bunch of these mics. That would be great if we can possibly get one of each and do the uh, general general mic, you know, show each uh, each one like an open box. That would be real nice. We can get a hand to it. All these things. This one is good to pick up patterns, cardioid, omni omnidirectional, bidirectional, and stereo pickup patterns. Offer incredible flexibility, allowing you to record in ways that would normally require multiple mic microphones. Make it just right now by clicking the link below. Yeah, and they have uh, different colors. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They have the blue and got different styles. You can, yeah, red color. Yeah. So this is another great mic. Absolutely. You guys can go, can go for it. If you're going to be connecting through your uh, either, uh, yeah, this one is the silver or the midnight blue or the black one. Yes, normally this mic, uh, you don't have those options. Um, well, the one that we use, the AKG, is only one color, and that's what no. it is. Oh, those type of mic, yeah, yeah. Oh, but this one is USB. That's what, okay, it makes more sense because it's more, uh, a bit less professional than right. the AKG. Yeah. Therefore, it goes more for uh, a bit more of the looks. 
Yeah, and it's still a professional market it's in their own level, right? Mm -hmm. But they are not on the level of the professional market when you go like uh, condense yeah. it or you go on like. The thing is, when up. we started, we started all the way. <laughs> right. The mics that you got. Right, yeah, yeah. Well, we guess it's been already a while when we started, like three, four years. Yeah. I think it's been four years, I'm not sure. So, yeah, when we started this, it's been a while, so. Exactly. So yeah. we're using the one that we use right now is the AKG. Yeah. So the AKG Bixi setup. C214. Big C, I know. I know. We we'll have okay. a big C. Okay. okay. All right. So, guys, uh, just welcome to, to Media Box CNT on Amazon Live. Remember to follow Media Box CNT on Amazon Live. We have great open boxes, and we're going to have the giveaway of the Xbox Series S on December 21st and the giveaway of the child from Star Wars that is going to be. On Friday or Saturday coming up. Stay tuned, guys. So follow Media Box in T and send the email because right before we do it, we're gonna email you all. Okay. So I was thinking we can send the email maybe on Friday to remember to remind them. Yeah. On Thursday. Mm. Yeah, baby. Yeah, I know, yeah, I know. Oh my God, does he do that in your desk too, Bitsy? I don't know. Sometimes. Uh, oh my. <laughs> what if she does? Crazy over the microphone, she climbs over my shoulder, everything, ah, well. everything you can think of. Oh yeah. my gosh. She my does more there, I think. More here? Oh my, Bitsy. I know, Bitsy. Oh my, oh my. Welcome to me. I've seen you on Amazon Live. Uh, and which one is next? Let me see. Let me pick. Do you want to the consoles or the deco mesh? Oh, you know what? We have the Hyper or oh, the HyperX or oh, headphones. Let's we see. can do that. No, what uh let me know. What I wanna show, hold on, let me see something here. Yes, yes. I will do the same, yeah. Okay. Let me Yes, I think we can do the T P link. I'm looking to the council right now. Hold on. Oh, okay, okay. Huh? Bitsy, she doesn't give up. Oh my gosh, I know. Uh, oh, she doesn't. All right, no, I'm. Oh lo my god. I can put her in the tower twenty times. Twenty times she's gonna jump on top of my shoulder again. <laughs> I know, Bitsy. I know. You're so beautiful. I know. You bless you. Huh? Okay, let me see how I can. No, stay there, Bitsy. <laughs> What does she want to do? She wants to shove on my shoulder 100 times. Promise you, like, she doesn't give up. Good, right. Bitsy. You should never give up. Never. Keep going. Yay. Beautiful example. What I want to I wanna show you, see, we're making a video. I'm making a video that uh, they're going to be uh, it's mostly for the YouTube. But I'm going to show you a few things here. What happened? We can do this real time. But I have the video. And let me see. I'm gonna I'm gonna capture a screen here. I wanna show you something, you guys. And hmm, can I catch? Because there is when I put it in the system. I don't know why I cannot post. I cannot post the videos. If I wanna post for a second the video, I can't do that. You know. So let me see if I add if I add a new screen. Hit a screen. And all right. So the screen is this one. Oh man. All right. You gotta manage a lot of screens here. All right. Can I put this one here? This one here. And let's put in my player. Man. And that is going to be for the uh, Xboxes? Oh, uh, yes, yes. Um, I'm going to show you that for the Xboxes. Let me see if I can change the region of the. Allow me to do that? Oh, yes, yes. All right. Come on, baby. All right. Alright. Let's 
that's good. Yeah. Do you hear her? That was her? That was her. No. Oh, no, it sounds like a some chair or something. No, it was <laughs> no, it was her. Oh, she sounded like a chair. Okay, so what number is that? Five. I don't want to send sounds through there. there and I have to. All right. Let me try something here. Screen number nine. Yes, we don't want sense out. All right, I think I got it now. All right. Okay, that is <coughs> from the Xbox Series X, right? Uh, Can you the with the S? Yes. Okay. So let me bring. Let me bring this down. Oh yeah, but I'm showing like a big guy myself. All right. That's fine. Let me turn it off. Let me go this way. All right, guys. So what I want to what I want to show you now, I say on the Xbox. If you're gonna be connecting, right? If you're gonna be connecting an external drive, what happened? And the question is, when you connect an external drive, and let me grab. Uh, I'm going to use this example. So, this is the version S. And, and right over here, <laughs> I think these little guys is covering up. Right over here, uh, let me see if we can see it. Can we see it? Yeah, almost none. Let, let, me, let me move this away. Let's move this away for now. Let me put it right over here. And let me bring my Xbox right over here all right and I'm gonna bring this this way all right Ooh, look all my fingers there <laughs> my gosh yeah all right well guys right there you see it be careful here okay so we see the two guys here so we have the both guys we have the Xbox. Yeah, be very careful because um, the stand, I don't know if it holds that much weight. Yeah. So we have here the version X and the version S. So both are great, guys. Doing a full, uh, did a full test between both. Yeah, I like both machines. So now, uh, the way to um, extend our drive, the way, because on the Xbox Series S, after you format the drive or not format because it's done automatic you set up you turn it on and you just boom you get the welcome screen you put your id free you get 384 gigabytes for free 384 to start off and imagine again gears of war 5 is like 100 gigabytes so how many games you can put not many you know three four games tops maybe if you get some indie games or maybe you have more but uh, what i'm going to do now i'm going to set up maybe you know a puncher uh, game. So how do I do that? Well, the simple way to do it, right? You can go and connect a drive right over here. Nice tiny drive. And you connect it one terabyte. And that's fine if you want to go that route. But what happens if you want to put more? In a way, and also uh, what the amount you're paying for that, you can get a bigger drive. But now you need something external drive. Like I was testing for me, I got one of these. One of these tiny drive. This one for 112, you can get terabyte or two terabyte drive. Now, same thing in the case for the Xbox Series X, right? Now, in the case for the Series X, you get 802 gigabytes uh, free after the initial installation or after the initial welcome. I know that Unis is, is having a one terabyte drive, and it's true, it's one terabyte drive. But then tell you that all the software and all that required to get this thing booted up, it will require 
it will leave you only with one less than one terabyte it only with 800 gigabyte for free and this one 368 a uh, 384 why because it's 5 and 512 for some reason this one uh, seems to take more space right then wait which one Oh, it's okay, okay, yes. yeah. Yeah, because this one, you had 802 gigabytes for free. This one, you get three, 384, I think, if I remember. And it's 512. So, in reality, this one used less space than this one. I don't know why, because I will think that all the Xbox use exactly the same. What will be different? I don't know. So, we can do, we can... Buy and play again, the one that you sold it from Xbox, and get the nice terabyte. So you got a terabyte and a half, and the other one you got almost a terabyte. No, you get one terabyte and two terabytes. Almost, you actually get 1.8 terabytes. And this one you get, and you get a one and a half, or one 1.384. Well, minus, because it's not going to be exactly... A terabyte, it will be 956 megabytes, right? Because always when you form a drive, it takes some out. Uh, it's not exactly one terabyte. You're going to lose 20, 30 uh, and gigab not megabyte, gigabytes are out, right? Because this is 512 gigabytes, so you're losing a few out of there. And that's normal. Any drive you format. So what happened when you plug in your drive and uh, you get this and I'm going to play it right now so you guys can see. So when you guys plug in the drive, you get this message. Let me turn it on. All right. So you get Watch this. Volume, guys. No, it has no volume. So when you plug it in, that's your first message. And it's going to ask you what you want to do. Oh, hold on. Let me activate that. What do you want to do? You want to format? How you want to format? Format to storage devices or to use for media? If you use for media, you're going to be plugging in your photos, movies, MP3s, whatever you want. Right? That's that's what you get right in the beginning. So you have to choose that media or a storage. Right? And then, and for me, I want to store apps. I want to store games. So they ask you, you know, okay. The name of the drive. I just leave the default name. If you put a Seagate drive, I'll say Seagate. If you put whatever, you know, whatever. Name of the drive. Barracuda, then I'm sure going to say Barracuda and the number of the drive. You can change the name if you want. I just let it be. So now I'm going to format the drive. And now there's two ways you can use keep, uh, keep current location or install new things here. So the way I did it, install new things here. Now, when you install this drive, this will become your default drive. You see the type? It said this USB drive by default. So what's going to happen now is any games you're going to install is going to go to this drive. It's not long it's going to go to your main drive because maybe your main drive is already full. So I don't want to install it nothing there. I want to maybe leave it for Xbox operation or whatever. And it needs to work on it. So install by default. You can always change it. So we're going to keep installing in a new, all right? Now, in this case, we're going to format the storage. Remember, if you have anything, they will be gone. And that's it. You see, simple with that, super fast. Now, I'm going to go storage. And we can see, in this case, this is this one. This one is the the S version. You can see here, see? Ah, uh, no, the, the, the um, X version. You see here, you see 802 gigabytes. That's your initial. I already installed a bunch of games, so I'm using, what, 347 gigabytes. Now, the one I installed is 512, so useful is 476 gigabytes. You lose some, normal, in any other drive, right? Perfect. So now, it came in that information, and the nice thing is we can move stuff, we can copy, we can rename, and we can reformat again if we want. Yeah, and you can, uh, you know, if you can uh, have a game or an app, you can uninstall it from there. So go back to storage. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go storage. I'm going to click on my drive. 
view what I have. It's nice, it's just like a computer. View what I have, and it showed me the games I installed here. So the way to do it is, you can move for stuff from one drive to the next drive. It says copy. The logic to copy, I don't know what will make any difference to copy again, because if you copy, you cannot go and run in another system. Oh, I'm gonna bring my drive to my friend. I don't think it's gonna work. Definitely not. They didn't try that, but I, and it makes no sense if it's gonna work, because then everybody will copy and keep the games away. So, they like, I don't know why you will copy, but in that my case, I'm gonna move, choose my game, and I'm gonna move it. You see, copy select the movie. So now I'm gonna move it to the raw power, right? It takes a few minutes, if you see there. So I move it from my original drive, one terabyte, and to my uh, one uh, 512. So I'm, I list some, some free here on the terabyte drive, right? All right, let me turn that off. And let's put my camera back again. So that's that's the first process, right? So th that's 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 the main thing you have to do. And what we did there, it was just moving files so you can go move files from from the Xbox to the S or to whatever you guys want. I don't know to this. So you know moving between between the same system. Right? Even if you have the S, you can do that. If you have the X, now you can move. And I put an external drive. So now, my uh, original was 512. Well, now I have another 500 gigabytes I can play. The only thing, you will have a, a dry right hand over here. You know, put it on this side. You know, I was thinking if I want to get maybe 2 terabyte for this, maybe you can put like uh, uh, 3M, 3M Velcro, 3M something. Right, and then you can uh, stick it and keep it in the side. But you all have to keep your drive here all the time. And anyway, what are you gonna take it for? It don't make no sense. Only you want to remove it. Maybe you want a removable version if you're gonna put media, if you're gonna put movies, right? M M M and four movies, so then you can do that. MP4. But if not, you can use some Belco 3M and stick it around the side, around the back, and just keep it in the side if you want. As long as you're not going to cover anything. And this one is much easier to put it in that drive. These are nice to get that real small drive. They're a little more expensive, but they're nice. If not, you just grab um, an S. It's, this one is SSD as well, digital. But this is what they call it non volatile memory express. It's like it looks like a memory type of thing. If not, you just get a regular you know, 2.5 SSD drive as fast as possible. You know? And that will be it. Well, even one of these, an Evo, an Evo 970, 970 or 980, that's nice. That's about $120. You have to get the external case, and you get a one terabyte. And you save up almost like $80 out of there. But my question is not, okay, I did that. What do you think is going to happen now? The games are going to load the same speed. I will think for a second, you will guys think, right? This is a one thing. To try, I don't have yet my PlayStation Five, but I will have to do that test. So now the question is: If my external drive versus my internal drive is faster, well, there is all 3.2 USB, so it should be the same speed. So whatever, I'm not sure whatever drive they use inside the Xbox. We need compare out when another drive. I drive it just because it's a test. This raw power drive. The game is going to load the same time. What do you guys think? In the beginning, you guys are going to think, okay, maybe the internal drive is will be faster. Okay, so let's see. Have a nice video that I'm um, put together. This is turn off my monitor in the middle, and I don't know how to turn it back on. Oh, I don't know. So everything is small for me. So. So what we're gonna do now, and I'm changing the screens right now. I'm just sorry, guys, looking as I have my display the other side. So I have Ooh, to you keep on the other side of the consoles. Yes. So I'm gonna try on only the. So what I did here is what you guys see right now on this screen. All right, 
And so I got the same game. So my left screen or your left screen is going to be the external drive. The right screen is going to be the um, the internal drive. It's only a second arrow here. You know, is when you press button and trying to get this, you will see it's just a, a second arrow. It makes no difference at all for this purpose. But I'm going to run both games. So this is the, the Star Wars game. So what I did, I load up the game on my internal drive. And then I load up my game on my external drive. So when copy, move it, and then move it again and put it back. All right? So we're going to do that right now. So my left one, right, is going to be um, the Xbox external drive. And the right one is going to be internal drive. So we press play. Both games are quit right now. So I'm going to press play. And now you see the games. You see it's an error second only, just maybe my the way that I synchronize the screens. All right. So the game is loading. And oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Well, eventually the video will say in the top Xbox and it will have the name on it. This is just a little piece of video that they put together to show you. So it's loading. They use a real engine I see there. So one guys the one on the left is external drive the one on the right is internal drive all right as you can see all right it's only a synchronization on the screen so it's a second all right Into whatever level I was at. All right. And exactly, you see there, it took one minute and 13 seconds to load up again. All right. It's about there. Okay. Uh, so both took the same. There was no difference at all on this case and none of these games so the conclusion is the conclusion for this it there is no makes no difference so if you guys get a good drive either internal drive or external drive they both are the same speed exactly the same speed no problems right and that was a nice test I'm putting a whole well, uh, in video together because it's nice. Because a lot of people have that question, hey, you know, if I have a um, two uh, drive, external drive. Now I'm using a raw power drive, but you have to make sure you get faster drive. If you get a spinning drive, it's going to take much longer. So I will not use a spinning drive. I will use some STD drive for this for this experiment. I was coming in, right? That was excellent. Um, welcome to Media Boxing T on Amazon Live. Follow Media Boxing T on Amazon Live. Xbox Series S. Remember, giveaway December 21st. Follow to win. Follow. And then send the screen shot to the email you see right there that says following. So you can enter to win. We will email, email you right before we do that. And my screen is very tiny, tiny. Thank you, Bitsy. Oh, my. Well, I don't know what she did. Did you look at it? Yes, Good. I, I tried to plug everything back and Yeah. Okay. It's, it's fine. <laughs> what can I do? All right. Uh, yeah, I don't know what she did. She was pulling uh, everything. Huh? She was pulling everything. <laughs> All right. Yeah, okay. you, have to, you have to be so careful. So we're just going over on the Xbox Series X and Series S. Xbox Series S. Access your favorite entertainment slot applications like YouTube, Netflix, and more. And show, over and show you over 100 games right out of the box. With one month, oh, Xbox Game Pass trial. Do you know that? It comes with, yeah, it comes with a month or yeah. whatever. Watch yeah. 4K Blu-ray movies and stream 4K video on Netflix, Amazon, Hulu, Microsoft Movies, TV, and more. Play with friends and family near and very far too. Sitting together on the sofa or around the world on your Xbox Live. The fastest, most reliable gaming network. Xbox One games and accessories work together. And this oh. one has back compatibility, right? What I want to do. 
You know what I'm thinking I want to do here and I have it right over here. Hold on. Uh, how fast this compare both? Excellent. While you do that, I will see if I can plug everything from behind my computer again. Oh, give me give me one second because okay. uh, and let me listen to it. This is still in the okay. Yeah. So uh, my next uh, my next section. So you guys, actually, what happened here? Uh, I'm I'm producing right now a whole uh, video on the Xbox and Series X and S both. So the one that you guys saw before was just for drive. The purpose is how fast will go an internal drive and external drive in this case for either the X or the S version. And after you saw that video, if there's a lot of if you guys coming in now, you want to see, I will more than glad to put that video of the game so you guys can see that. But what I did, I show you guys the speed on running external drive and internal drive, what it makes it different. Now, in the next section, what I'm going to show you guys right now, all right? Man, I had to pick those so I had the camera there. So what I'm going to show you in the next one is what happened, right? How fast is things going if I have um, the Xbox turn it off and on? How long it takes to get you ready to play a game? How long it takes the Xbox Series X be ready to play a game? Most of people will say the Xbox X is going to go faster than the S, right? Well, wow, that was my idea. People want to say, no, hold on. This one cannot go faster. Well, let's see. Let's see who goes fast. So let's see if it both goes to the same speed. The idea is, okay, you know, I'm just buying this. How long it will take me to be ready to play a game? You know, I want to play right now. How long do I have to wait to get How long to wait to oh, play? Oh, it's going to take, like, the popcorn time? Is my popcorn going to be ready? Well, can you play games and eat popcorn? I'm not sure. Well, yeah, guys. Gotcha. All right. All right. So, again, and the one on my, let me activate that. So, the one on my left is the Xbox. Let me activate this. Eventually, this will have title and all that. But, so the one in my, the one on my, or our left side is the X version. And the S is on my right side. Okay? So how long it takes to be ready or how long I have to wait to play a game? Let's begin. This is called boot up. means it's turning it off. Now in standby mode. All right? So let's go for it. So it already started. Yeah. Whoa, both of them. Same time. Same time. Yep, it's how long it takes. That's it. Wow, I would have thought the Series S was going to be uh, slower, maybe. Because it's smaller. And it took uh, 20 seconds, both machines. Same time. Mm -hmm. Because it's a, it runs in a, it's a firmware. It's just something that runs in the software. So, so it takes, takes, takes the same time. Uh, to run thing. Then my next one, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to go in um, in wake up mode. That means the machine is in a sleep mode. Normally, my it's all in a sleep. You press the button one and go in a sleep mode. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to wake it up. It only takes like a flash. I don't know why it's faster. My finger or the button, whatever. So, so that's off. That's on. That two seconds. Both machines the same. So if you are in a standby stand mode, if you are in a standby mode, it takes about two seconds. So the question is who's faster? The button, my finger, because it's whatever time it takes me to press this one or press this one, it will automatically start. Take two seconds. So both machines are the same. Speed what? Now they're saying on the hardware, but Waiting, it will take you a minute. We will say a minute and 12 seconds. What was a minute, 12 seconds? Yes, yeah, something 14 seconds, right? To get stuck playing a game. And phone call means it's off and you're going to plug it in and it wait till the whole thing. It's a computer being in standby mode or restart the whole entire computer. From a sleep mode to wake up, how about a second? Two seconds. Let's give it three seconds if you want. Right. If, uh, an error. Why? Right. Um, Three seconds. 
uh, to get the ball machines running. So that's about so how long it takes. Of time. So you can go ahead and choose like the Xbox Series X or S. In my case, I would choose the S because not only takes out less space, but you don't have to have a whole bunch of space to run. Yeah, yeah. It depends what you want to do. But and yeah. it goes well with the decoration. And you can say that. If you still like to use CDs and, you know, have them all around <laughs> or in a nice shelf too. Yeah, all right. You can get some special Xbox or shelves for the games. Yeah, yeah, we ordered something, right? I guess I can't. Yes, I mean, it I looks. Did. It's arriving today or tomorrow. It looks pretty cool in my table, but it takes a lot of space. So we had to yeah, put yeah, it. Yeah. I got a whole couple of cameras. And we can also put a camera there too. Yeah, well, I put a camera right in between my table or something. Put a yeah. camera into it there, a light or something to to get that going. Yes, because right now the table is crazy. All right, you want to choose a product and you go over and meanwhile I take this uh, right from here. Cause yes, I should go the TP link. You want to go over or you want to use something else? Yeah, I can try. Oh, hmm. Okay, you, you know, want to yeah. do the solar light. All right. Those were very popular popular yesterday. All right, so... I just like them. I don't know. Oh, yes. It takes like 30 seconds. I yeah, mean. go ahead. We'll do that. This SETI LED outdoor lights, they work with the power of the sun. This is Amazon's choice. IP67 weatherproof. Therefore, they are going to be fine on your driveway, anywhere outside, by the pool, at the patio or balcony. And the thing, uh, they get charged only with the power of the sun. So as long as you have sun a few hours, it's gonna it's gonna like light up beautifully. This is a set of two. Um, you can move the solar panel in the combination that is convenient for you, depending from where the sun is coming from. Hold on. <laughs> I had to sneeze. I couldn't stop it. Oh my gosh! I almost died. Ay ay ay! Solar powered extension design. <laughs> So you can regulate how high you want it. It's anti-corrosion design. Uh, it has an adjustable solar panel, so you can put it uh, in the way that is convenient for you based on where the sun is coming from. It has three LED LEDs, each uh, lamp. It also has four lighting modes. IP67 waterproof. Outdoor solar LED landscape light. They are waterproof. They have the solar panel. And they have a detachable extension stake, so you can put it like uh, very, very close to the to the ground or a little bit higher if you want to. And you also have the option that you can mount it to the wall if you want to. Oh, yeah. It okay. has cold white mode, warm white mode, and 300K warm white, 4500K natural light, and then 6500K that's cold white, that's the brightest one. Ever. Yeah, it has a nice. Uh, let's see the video. Yeah, and the solar power is a big advantage when you get the solar power. You don't have to worry about anything. Exactly. Just plug it in, and you don't need to worry about it cables. It will the power of the sun so nicely. Right. And that, you want to, like, give the... I like it the way she went. Ah. Yes, like... <laughs> she was playing... Uh, uh, oh, Valhalla. Valhalla, yes. That's the screen. She went... Uh, <laughs> yeah, nice. to Give that. Yeah, it's cool. Easy way to get your... Uh, and yeah, and waterproof. Yeah, nice for um, put it in and that's it. Oh, yeah, all light up nice. Oh, nice. Oh, even light up a pool. So you don't really have to wor worry about splashes either. So you can definitely put them around the pool. Yeah, I guess you can put it anywhere. Yeah, light up nice. And um, the parks. That's also good for when you have people over it, so you can make sure everything's tied up nicely. Yeah. By no the way. steps, you don't have to run any cables. All right. You don't have to load it up. Yeah, I'm just put it in, and 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 that's it. You're done. Simple. Make it yours right now by clicking the link below. 
Uh, my next one, uh, my next one is uh, Camera 1080. Yes. Pen That was tail. very popular yesterday too. Yes, yes. Oh, this yeah. is a YC, YC camera. <laughs> pan, pen 1080p. Pant tilt zoom Wi-Fi. Yeah, so what happened? Yeah, so with this, it rotates this way. The base, right? And I don't know if it's the video, but the way it works, yes. And right over here, yeah. Rotate that way, right? And then uh, and up and down. And rotates what? 100 and, and 110 degrees per second rotation. Yeah. It's pretty fast too. And it has a microphone and a speaker, two way audio. And easy to set up. And now you have the, uh, uh, what they call it, the night. Let's see, they click here. Oh, yeah, well, that's the oh, other okay. one. Yeah, that's the other one. Yes, this is the general. Yeah, that's the one you want to see. Yes. Yeah, that's that. That's the smaller version. That one don't rotate, yeah. That one you rotate yourself that's out. It, yeah. So this is because you have a few cameras. It's, this is the one you want. It's nice because out of your software, you can control simple and easy. Right? Oh, go see if they do any mess. Oh, look. Look at that Chiquita. Look at Chiquita. Looks like our cat. Yeah, nice vision. 1080p. Yeah. And also, yes, I have 14 day cloud service. Yeah, what I would recommend is recommend is to use the use the memory there. Get the memory. Let me see what the covers. To, maybe thirty two. They can go up to sixty four gigabyte. If they shows here, where to? Sometimes I show you with memory wise we can install here. So let's see two point four. Okay. Up to 32 gigabytes. All right, so you can put 8, 16. I will not go that low. I will just go in 32. Now, can you put big one? But a waste, waste of, a waste of memory. Do not, do not put a, do not go and get. Oh, I'm gonna get the 128 or whatever. It's not gonna work. So this camera, the only thing it takes 32. So get 32. And then the way you record it, you set the in, in loop format. Record only when something happens. Exactly, that's more convenient. Otherwise, yeah. you will have a very long video. <laughs> you will have tons of no, memory. you waste the memory. You waste the space on the memory. Yeah. Yeah. Only thing, well, if you got the fourteen day memory, that's different no, because and the cloud service they have a lot of space. But it's not. Just go thirty two gigabyte. And fat, and thirty two fat thirty two there. That's the format. So you can take it there and read your computer. And then it will format your uh, the memory. Now you have to do that on your computer. Your uh, camera will do that for you. Okay, I will try to plug my computer from behind, okay? Okay, let's see what happens. It will do that for you. And then now you will record loop format. And, and what happens in loop format is going to go back and record, let's say, 100 videos, a one minute video. When the memory is full, it will go back and delete the first video and then go one, two, three, four, and it gets 100 and then keeps recycled that way. So you always have a chance that your video is there. It depends how long it takes. If you had a high traffic area, well, the memory will get fuller that fast. It depends how you set it up. You have to see that yourself because it can, maybe mine can last two months and maybe and other people in the seven days, the memory will recycle already all the videos in the memory. I give you an example of 100, okay? It can be more, can be less, I'm not sure. Depends the way you set up this device. It's always um, uh, 2.4. You're not going to see this camera as a 5 gigahertz, and that's perfect fine. That's the way this type of camera works. All right? You should have that, have that in mind. But what's good, oh, we saw the video there. Did we saw this video? Uh, yeah, yeah, because I show you all the models of the camera. Yes, you can connect this also with... Uh, with Alexa, well, and you can just tell Alexa, okay, show me whatever, front door, back door, or whatever was connected. These are real nice ones. And it was real good. And yeah, and allow you to pan and then rotate, right? And see, see all around. 
That w that's w this way you don't need you don't need a lot of cameras, right? You need one camera. Exactly. I will do it all. Yeah, if not. And it's also I'm seeing has night vision and night vision and two way audio, correct? Right. So you have that. And Instead to Alexa. to have like three cameras pointed. Just the only thing, right? Sometimes it's good when you have two cameras pointed in one location or different location. So you always record. In this case, this one will move, right? Or you move it, whatever based you need. Based on the movement, there is the movement. There or movement base, on. right, right. Or base where you want to see. Maybe you want to tilt and then zoom. And I look over there, look in the corner. Something happened there. Then you just go to a corner and then zoom in. That's the way it works. It's see. You messed up my computer. It's still not working? No. It's okay. I mean, I feel. But uh, I, I can go my. Much. I can go there. Okay. No, you don't have them. It's okay. I mean, I can only do. I cannot do as much as before. You notice I didn't get typing and all of that. I I fix it right now. Go to, go to over the same way. Okay. Let me get it. Segway nine nine bot S plus smart. This is self balancing electric scooter with intelligent lighting and battery system, remote control and audio following mode. Sturdy and powerful with the powerful dual models, no signal says entering power mode. Safety and comfortable. Okay, let me go below. Segway, your most loyal follower. Oh, this is like exactly the hardware that you have, but y the difference you have the thing in the middle. Easy to ride, compact and lightweight. Maximum speed, 12.5 miles per hour. 22 mile range maximum. The climbing slope is 15 degrees. Full feature application connectivity. Mm, all blank. Oh uh, no, I only see the HDMI thingy on top and now it went away. Lightweight and portable. By using light but durable aircraft grade magnesium alloy frame, the 9 bot S Plus is compact and only weights 36 pounds. Also, you see HDMI here? No. With a maximum payload of 220 pounds. Thanks to the knee control, that's called knee control bar, it can be easily. No signal entry power mode. I can no signal or uh, check connection. No signal, okay. Enter in power mode, surely. Power saving mode. It will enter power saving mode. Yeah, I don't know what she pulled. I just uh, plugged everything again. Powerful motors and intelligent BMS. Thanks to the powerful dual 400 watts motors, the 9 bot S Plus can easily. Re what do you find? Do you find something? You figured? No. Oh. Mm. A single fully charged battery can run up to 22 miles or climb in a maximum slope of 15 degrees. A smart battery management system reports real time status of voltage current temperature and usage, as well as requires and tracking of the battery status and potential faults, which substantially Whoa. improves ride safety She and killed comfort. the display. I don't, know. I don't know what she did. I don't know. All right. All right. One of those things. All right. So this one is, uh, yeah, you can use it up in this one. Let's take a video. Let's Oh, nice. Powerful light. Yes. Snivala. It follows you. Oh, wow. I didn't know that. Yeah, wow. It's updated, I think, from the last time that we've seen it. Yes. This is a little different than what we see before. Yeah. This is a little different than what we see before. All right. Oh, we have here a lightning deal? Yes. Oh, we have a lightning deal. A drone. 
Oh, wow, we have a cool lighting deal here. This is available. Oh, 14 minutes. End it. Yes. End it already? No, no, no we in have 14 four, minutes. 14 minutes left. 14 yeah. minutes left. What is it? 229? Yeah. Uh, original price for 165. Lightning deal. That's yeah, nice. This is a drone with a camera. It can go very far. And let me get it here. Yeah, so this one, the room is a 4K camera with live video and GPS, so return home. So what happened is that you set home, you set the location, you are in that point. You want to do that because sometimes... It's a 4K FHD camera, live video, and GPS return home. Yeah, because um, that way you know have lost these things. If you don't know, or, or sometimes what happens is if it lost a signal or lost a signal from your... Uh, from your rem from your remote, or the matter will come back. Exactly. It, it sends that, and it knows the location, the less signal, so will come back automatic through that position. Absolutely. And guys, so uh, it's not get lost, so it doesn't get lost forever. No. So you got um, thirteen uh, minutes to go for that one. Exactly. So let me see. This one um, is a drone, four K camera, uh, five. GHC live video transmission, 22 minutes modular battery. That's a long battery. Uh, 22. It's about, yeah, it's okay. No, it was five minutes. No, that one, no. Five minutes is tiny ones. Oh, okay. Brushless motor, quick release propellers. They upgrade the propellers, run more efficiently and powerfully. No screws required to set the propellers up. Yeah. What do you have here? Oh, lime. Oh, oh, this is the one. Uh, this is like the one that you have, yes. Oh, the one I have. Oh, yeah. This is a laser. Show me. Yes, a laser 360 vertical and 360 horizontal. Eight lines. Oh, yeah, yeah. We have the same, same thing. Real nice uh, device. If you guys going to do some work. Oh, you see that? Oh, to put tiles. Yep. And this one give you A lines all around. You have to have the same device. Real nice device. And two set. Simple control. GPS, follow me. Auto return. Simple control. Quick launch by pressing one key star. And you can fly. While keeping its altitude locked. This allows the pilot to focus on the camera control. And enable more complex shots. GPS, follow me. Shot shot <laughs> with this when the drone can follow you with camera pointing to you free your hands to take photos or videos edit and share your new creations on social media at that moment you have also auto return it always flies back to take off point as per your instructions or whenever it runs out of power or loses connection even when you accidentally fly out of range oh you are in the drone okay all right, it's good. All right, and then uh, the PC. Let me see the Alienware. Oh, it's still a good price, Alienware. It's still a good price. Yeah. yeah. Even though it's not Black Friday anymore. Uh, <laughs> even though it's not Black Friday, it's still a hundred and thirty dollar saving on the on the display. Now, and sometimes there is two ways here to build a PC. Either, you know, you build it yourself, the PC, or let somebody else do it for you. And less worry and hassles. Exactly. It also depends the amount of time that you have in your hands. Yeah. Sure. You want to get it and go to play right there, or you want to take the time and build it together. It depends on how you see it. Yeah. This is a good, I own Alien Web products, and I love it because... And could for a long time. I have my laptop for over 10 years. Man, it still works beautiful. Now, that's why I like Alienware. They always create computers for gaming. So, guys, you don't want to go crazy and build your own PC. You can always go and grab an Alienware system where it give you all preset already, plug it in, and start playing games. Simple as that. Now, normally it's fourteen seventy nine. Today you get a fourteen and thirteen forty nine. You still hundred thirty dollars saving. It's a nice system. You can choose if you want more memory. Like the case, it give you that nice preset 
we can change here. So you see the chips they're using. Now a 16, if you feel, uh, you know, uh, 32 is nicer. So you gotta see what you like. A 16 is fine, but if you get 32, it's even better. You can choose 32 gigabytes and allow you to change a terabyte. In my case, my case, I will choose one terabyte. What happens when I choose one terabyte? Should you change the graphics card? It change a few things, so the prices pop up. But if not, get the 512, and always you can upgrade. And they are easy to open these type of PCs. The, the way the Dell works, or the way they are easy to open and and pop all the drives, so you can add another drive. So maybe you say, you know what? I'm worried. I'm not want to open the PC. Well, then you can always get an external drive, and that's a good solution to do that. Now, if you feel like building your own PC and you are not sure what parts you need to build your PC, well, the one way you can do it is by just go here, go to my page, go to Google and type Media Box CNT Space Amazon. And, and then what you do, you come here and look the preset as we have here. So we have the... And AMD, Intel, or even you can build my PC right over here. So this is nice. The only thing is going to take a little more time. You have to put all the parts together, but this is guaranteed to work for you. So all these two parts are preset to guarantee they're going to work for you and choose. And these are powerful PCs and for gaming. All right, Mina? Yeah, this one is the Alienware Aurora yeah. R10, R10 <laughs> gaming desktop. Yep. The new Alienware Aurora Ryzen Edition desktop gives you the power to develop and explore new worlds with a 16-core third-generation AMD Ryzen processor. This edition is the first of Alienware machine features PCI Express 4.0 technology, which doubles the bandwidth available to graphics uh, to graphics cards uh, for enhanced overall gaming performance. Additionally. Any component of the PSI Express Bus is given more bandwidth, so you can experience higher performance while creating, streaming, or recording. A new Aurora features the Legend industrial design with the improved airflow pattern. The Legend ID ensures airflow moves more fluidly and efficiently to reduce CPU temperature. Lower temperatures mean performance or means uh, performance with more stability and higher overclocking, which results in higher frames per second while gaming. Additionally, the Legend Industrial Design lowers the temperatures by up to 8% at the voltage regulator. Yeah, it's a great, you know, and it's like a, no hassle, you know what I mean? You just put it in, and that's it. You don't need to worry about anything. Just plug it in, and it works. But, again, you know, some people want to build, like me, you know, build my own PC, and that's it. It depends not only about the time, but also if you have the capability of doing so. Yeah, you, and you then what happens is, I mean, sometimes people go out and, and it even happened to me that I have experience. Sometimes we, buy a, we get a part that is not working right, or I thought that would work, but you know, it's not what I need. So, or, or you get like a super graphics card, but then you chip on, on, on the CPU, or you go, go super high on the CPU and you chip on the, on the video card. And so now it works, but not the way you want it because you just went and grabbed like super powerful this and that. Or you just went and got everything good, but you just went and got, I don't know, not enough memory to do whatever you need to do. So you need to have those things in mind, right? This when one you has set up. HyperX memory modules that are yeah. tested at speeds and sure they are free from manufacturer and material defects and preset and preset time is including on the memory modules enabled to highest performance possible on your system. Yep. So the next test in my next product is maybe you don't want to be um, uh, a desktop. You want some gaming or a cool, nice, powerful laptop. laptop. Right convenient. over here. Yes. So this is a nice and I guess still Cheaper than with the almost at uh, the Black Friday or Seven Monday, they still had a hundred dollar savings here on this great laptop. So, yeah, the gaming laptop, you had the NVIDIA G4 2070 Super, exactly my video card, guys. I have my desktop right in Intel Core 10 750, 
nice memory size, 22 gigabytes DDR4. We have a nice 512 and uh, disk drive, memory express, grab it here SSD drive, and 15.6 refresh rate, 300 hertz. So if you at the game allow you to run, you can run the game at that refresh rate. Windows 10 and the cool RGB, right? And it's a 2020 model. Cool RGB and keyboard. So if you're looking for a nice uh, laptop, right? And sometimes it's, you know, some people say, you know, I want to, you know, make it easy. I don't want to have all these things. Or maybe you just go one place or other. Or maybe you just, you know, you want to go like this guy. Sit in the sofa and then chase. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's Play nice right. Sofa. Yes. I think he doesn't have cats. No, no, no cats. No nails on the sofa. Have a dog. Dog do the same thing or no? No, as bad as cats. Oh, but can do that too, and right? Clothes are like thicker, therefore they don't just pinch and like this. Look. Oh, I see. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. Hi, man. Welcome to Media Box CNT on Amazon Live. Are you new? Hi, man. Yeah. If you're not, welcome back. If you're new, follow Media Box CNT on Amazon Live. We're giving away the Xbox Series S on December 21st. Yeah, and you can get this all this stuff. This is Tech Talk of Coffee Talk, Nando says. You woke up. How do you feel, Nando, today? How are you? Wonderful morning. Good morning. Bo it's oh, yes, that's morning for him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's still Good morning there. Yeah, yeah. How are you doing, man? Yeah. Talk about coffee. I should make myself a coffee something. Good, good. Do you have the soup that I told you about with vegetables and all that stuff there? Do you want me to make you another coffee? Too shock. <laughs> huh? Okay, so oh, which one I'm do you want to do? I'm just thinking what I should drink. Inver two shots of what? <laughs> okay. All right. Yeah, since uh, it's today's cold, but it's winter, a uh, lot of wind. It makes sense. Yeah. Now we yes. have this old um this laptop here, the Razer Blade, 15 based gaming laptop. It's another one, yeah. Yeah, this is the one they use uh, the CMC aluminum aluminum case. Yeah. Yeah, this one's a cool aluminum case. Razer Blade 15 base model. The Razer Blade 15 base model features NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1660 Ti graphics and the new 10th generation Intel Core i7 6 core processor. How is the Core i7 fit in the laptop? Isn't it the big box, the square box? No. No. I fit. No. No problem. It's a small chip. It's a small thing. And if you look at it, if I you... I'm sure it was a big box. No, no. No, it's not. The thing is, they have to... They, this is six core. Oh, okay. Oh, Nando says, it's a chip. It's a it's big chip. box because of the fan. Yeah, hey, right. Hey, I mean, what do you mean, come on? I remember it came like a big box when you got something like that. Yeah, but... Uh, uh, yeah, it looks that way, but it's not. And... Yeah. So it's just like a small and the they, what they do and, and laptop they sell, um, the the um, surf mount you know what I mean on 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 desktops because of the motherboard they with the motherboard they are optimized for laptops oh okay that's something else uh, too yeah and it's surf mount it's me it's me mounted run on motherboard I see and then you so so you can you can go and change it it delivers so amazing power and portability. The 15.6 smooth 144HD Full HD display provides an immer immersive, immersive and insanely fast visual experience for gaming and beyond. Yeah, you see right there, Mia? Yeah, I see. Oh, that's really nice. Yeah. Well, plus, because it's self mount, so use less space. If you're talking about motherboard, you already have like the mountain. That's device. why a lot of the parts are soldered. Yeah, I see. Okay. Yeah. So on on the motherboard, you already have like the mounting chip device. So that that's like a, I don't know, a few millimeters. Like the M1, super fast and fanless, but you can upgrade nothing, nothing. No. Yeah, so, mm -hmm. yeah, that, and this one, no, they only allow you maybe change the but change memory mostly. or maybe change a hard drive. But that's right. some maybe the I don't think the memory maybe the memory can be self mount but I don't know it's kind of what they did on the PS4 and PS5 
get the memory, safe mount memory. I don't know why they did that, but it's, it's cheaper. Ultimate performance, six core, 10th generation Intel Core i7 processor with up to 5.0 GHZ to robust an Intel Y5A, yeah, Y5 6. Yeah, that's the lay. Yeah, uh, because to build it faster, self mount, then true hole. RAM drive. Yeah, true hole. Is, plus, there are multi layers. It's like, it's, I don't know how many layers those motherboard has. So it's much uh, cheaper and faster to build. Pain in the back if you want to fix it. That's why a lot of these things no longer you fix it. But if you have to fix that and take the chips, it's uh, crazy. Then true hole. True hole is the beginning. Like there's still some true hole here. But you still get the chance of upgrading if you want to, in some parts. No, uh, maybe the memory. Oh, okay, but something. It's not like an Apple that you just. Yeah, Apple is something. Yeah, Apple. More I think. Frames. I think yeah, Apple. You can even change your memory. It's no. just what you get. No, yeah. nothing. That's it. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know this one. I don't know. Jaime says it's a good chip. Yeah, it is a good chip for gaming. Yeah. And doesn't come in a big box, so you know. Yeah. And Ultimate it's good performance. And it's good graphic. Again, something like the graphics card. The graphics card is special made for laptop. So it's a super twenty is it you know, twenty seventy super. If you look my twenty seventy super, it's like a humongous car. The graphics car. But this is special special made or special optimized to use for laptop. A stunning graphics. NVIDIA G4 GTX one six six zero Ti graphics is a blazing fast supercharger right. for today's most popular games. Right. So if you look mine, if you look my 20 Super or one of those cards, well, this is the 1000 series, but still, if you go and grab this and you just stop that, it's like a humongous card. So what they do, they do like in a special version and just for, for laptop. Expandable 16 GB. 2933M okay. dual channel memory and 256GB. So that means you can exp you SSD. can you can replace your memory. Yeah. Doesn't show you here how. So also be in the bottom. I bet you're so you can it. take <laughs> you can take the again the memory is memory is special made for laptop so smaller so you can replace that and sometimes the hard drive too and the hard drive is there it's a slot you can just take the drive. And and do a new one, put a new one. But two fifty six is fine, not crazy big. It's just for that I will add another drive just for the games. Open SSD slot, add more storage with an open M point two PCIe three point oh or times four slot for easy SSD upgrade. Thin and compact. The CNC aluminum unibody frame houses incredible performance in the most compact footprint possible. <coughs> and it has a green USB. All right. Ultimate performance. Six core 10th generation Intel Core i7 processor with up to 5.0 GHC Turbo Boost and Intel Wi Fi. It has some, uh, and then, uh, oh, that was the one you went over, right then? Okay. Oh, the racing way. Oh, you didn't click it there. <coughs> yes, I did. Did I? No. Oh. Mm. <laughs> well. Okay, I'm gonna get something to drink. Uh, Jaime says, "How many tabs do, do you have open? Like 25? How many tabs? <laughs> how many tabs are open? Am I? No, I tended to open as I go, but right now I have uh, one. T uh, let me see. How many have? Uh, we can see it there. Oh, yeah, yeah." In reality, I should do this. <laughs> you know, you see, a lot of open there. And as I go, we we open tops. You see right there. As we go, we open the tops. That's that's my original. Then from here, I start open the top. Okay, so that's what Menina choose for the less uh, laptop. Yeah, bring me bring me some water too. Yeah, my throat is like crazy this morning. All right, and here we got the uh, an LG the uh, laptop. You let me in. I don't know. I can see her. I think she left. You there or why are you now? Oh, oh, you're trying to fix it. Try to fix that. I gotta get water myself. 
Chill. You didn't even know I wasn't here, right? <laughs> no, I can't even see that. Okay. <laughs> Crazy. Oh my god, hold on. Go to the LG Gram laptop. Yeah, let me get something. I'm my, my water. Wait, what? Huh? LG Gram, yeah, I got it. Okay, let me get up here. You didn't even notice I wasn't here. <laughs> Actually, I'm gonna get something to drink. Oh, turn on my coffee. I just turn it on. Oh, so it won't stop. This is the LG Gram laptop, 15.6 inches, IPS touch screen. Redefine everything. The power to do anything and the portability to go anywhere. Working, gaming, designing, video editing, and co in the current edge Intel processor. Impressive memory and long battery life. Handle it all with ease. <coughs> Yeah, hold on, let me get water. Yes, you can see the wall plug. I still didn't paint it. Hold on. <coughs> Man, this has been bumpy. Oh, yes, I had to um, put like a special wallpaper that is for painting from the plug, and then I had to paint it so you don't see it. Technically, you shouldn't, you shouldn't see it. <coughs> Still here, still here. Yes, that's for me. <laughs> Hold on. Yes, because it's used. Oh my gosh, I'm sorry, guys. Welcome to Mia Boxing Tea. Sunday morning, Sunday noon, right now. <laughs> Beer Lost, wonderful to see you. Welcome to Mia Boxing Tea on Amazon Live. Yes, uh, okay, yes. Um, I'm not sure about Cyberpunk because it seems to have like some stuff. <coughs> Oh my god, hold on. <coughs> okay. Hopefully everything is nice and wonderful right now. Let's get back to normality. I was jumping up and down. Now everything's good. Oh uh, yes, we were talking about Cyberpunk the other day on uh, Nando, but it seems that that game has the stuff that is not convenient for everyone to see, so we might not be able to play it online. So we're gonna play another games. We are lost. Welcome to Media Boxing Tea on Amazon Live. Oh, be careful with the words because it has two English. Yes, that's what we might have for the holidays. <coughs> Maybe we're gonna make one. Are you cold? Ay, yeah, yeah. Make sure that you have more soup, okay? So you stay, you stay good and healthy. <laughs> so right now, let's go back to the L LG Gram 15. Redefine everything. The power to do anything and the portability to go anywhere. Working, <coughs> gaming, designing, even video editing. The cutting edge Intel processor, impressive memory, and long battery <laughs> life. Handle everything with this. <coughs> Leading the way into the lightweight laptops. You can view your work, gaming, or streaming content with full detail and color clarity. Power up to 17 hours. That's a lot of battery. The longest uh, laptop battery that I have was, I think, 9 to 10 hours. <coughs> this one also has touch screen, built in touch screen convenience. Oh, my coffee is there. Can you hear me, Murro? Yeah, well, I was basically dying. I was um, coughing. Yeah. I was okay. trying to have you too. You were trying to have something super quick, and then I <laughs> the reason. Yeah. <laughs> Oh gosh, Nando, I was having my throat open and I drank licorice root. Yes, because some yes, okay. Oh, good, excellent. Yes. No, we need to get. I think we should. Go, <coughs> we need to get tea. Yes, a regular one for yes, lemon. Yeah. Okay. And some garlic too, I think. How long he's gone for? Oh, uh, oh, it's antiviral. Yes, oh, uh, the licorice root tea. Yes. <coughs> and he went to make coffee. That's what it is. 
So he made coffee for me and for him. That's why. No, I, I didn't make coffee for me. You didn't make yours? No. No. What do you want? No, I don't want anything. It's okay. Yeah, I think we should get some tea. Yeah, garlic. We have garlic. All right. Good. Yeah. So you went over that nice cool I laptop. I was trying to while I was trying to clear my throat too. Oh, okay. Okay. Honey oh, is always awesome. Huh? Honey is always awesome. Yes. <coughs> All right. So we have here the 15 inch. This is a 10 generation and core i7. This is the 10, 1065. Uh, 16 gigabyte of RAM, one terabyte. This one has more, um, more hard drive. Oh, and then you have a uh, two drive, one terabyte and another 512. Hmm, all right. Yeah. So I would think that is the 512 maybe for the C drive, and then the the one terabyte extra is for your D drive. I will say that's the way they maybe should be done. Yeah. Or two. Let me see. One terabyte. Yeah. X2. I don't know where they put X2. But yeah. It's always nice to have a two drive. The way to do it, that's the way I set up my lap, my, my laptop. The way I set up my PC, it's the same way. The difference just went over and I use all one terabyte and all the way. So I have a one terabyte for my C drive. I barely use, ah, what I use on my, I don't know, one my terabyte C drive. <coughs> Let me pick anyway. Let me pick one second. How much I use out of that? Um, fifty percent. What I use out of that? Oh, four hundred gigabytes. I don't know, hundred and thirty. Maybe it's like in another dimension. Oh yeah, I use about half. Oh, oh the live stream, Jaime. I don't know how long we're going to be. We have been here like since eleven a.m. and we'll see. Yeah, I'm thinking for a little bit more, and then we need. I think we need a break. I think so. What do you think? Yeah, I don't know. You want to go a few minutes more and then we go for the break? Yeah, I think that would be a good plan. So, I, I do you notice I was trying to get something and I got something in my throat and I was coughing and coughing? I know, I, I, I hear that. I was running and it seems you were like running too. <laughs> yeah, no, and I want to go to the, I want to go to the, the yeah, want to go to the supermarket and be able to, to grab, because I miss tea. You see, for me, tea is good. Tea with lemon and honey. Lemon, lemon tea. I love a lot of lemon, so you need yeah. But the only thing I can figure out, I have a lot of teas, we, you know. All but the, no regular tea. Right. But all these regular, all the teas we have, they're not mixed well with. I was thinking I would mix them and then I forgot, but I don't think they will mix well exactly. No, we're not going to mix. You need black tea to mix that, uh, uh, to be able to yeah. mix it with all the type of teas. Yeah, yeah. The other ones are nice to drink it. Maybe you put honey, but if you mm. really don't have a lot of lemon, like a lot of like a the vitamin C. The cinnamon spice is amazing. I mean, I, it oh is, yeah, it's oh that's good. good too. That's good too. I don't know how I never, I had never tried that tea before. Yeah, yeah. I got it. What have Bixie did in you, lap then on? In my, I have no idea. She passed on the need. Maybe she turned up, she uh, changed the inputs or something that way. Maybe. You see my arm? Yeah. What happened there? The same. I don't know what she did. <laughs> she went up. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> I have one more of those on my leg too. Yeah, you gotta still, yeah. I got to I got to look there and see what happened with the monitor. If you like lemon, try hibiscus. Oh yes. Yeah. We have hibiscus. Yep. Yeah, hibiscus good. Hibiscus good in the summertime too. Yeah. Nice awesome. and cold. It's good. Yeah. yeah. I have this good tea. I make yeah. those by the jar, so I keep them in the fridge during yeah. the summer. A lot of vitamin C on the hibiscus Oof. tea. Yes. A lot. Yeah, and as long as you don't put anything else, you know what I mean? You don't put any sweeteners or anything, that was a perfect drink. Yeah, yeah. yeah and, and remember, hibiscus don't even put milk because it's going to... Um, oh, it's going to break, break the milk. Yeah, yeah, you can't yeah. because it's too acid or whatever, yeah. Exactly. I don't think you have to be even put lemon on it. You don't put anything. Jaime right. says, I love tech. And I'm thinking, he might be thinking, you're talking about tea, what's the deal? <laughs> I know, yeah, we went switch with tech to tea. Mm -hmm. Well, the other day we were out with the cold pizza. Oh, the cold uh, pizza. Okay. Oh, yeah. I will eat a cold pizza now. Oh, God. Really? All right. So, you love tech. Check this manual. I don't know what the prices are. We promoted like crazy this display. This is Samsung 49 inches. The CG90. This is a curve. This is 144 hertz. 
And uh, it's a great man. If you look at this, this is a real good and humongous. Beautiful. Check that out to play game. Now, the only thing is, it's not a 4K. Why? Because the resolution, the, the size, it needs to have a, needs to be in a, in a special size. So the size is, you know. Oh, that's why. Okay. Right. right. It's, uh, it's uh, 380 by um, 340. I mean, 380 by 1080. It's 21. Yeah. On the P, on the P, to be 4K needs to be uh, 2180. That's what it gives us a 4K. And this one, let me search, because 4K can never remember 100%. I mean, uh, 4K, and I mean uh, 4K resolution. It's about there. Missing a number or something. Uh, hold on. Something I should remember. Yeah, okay, yes, that's, it's fine. 3 um, and 3840, that's perfect. 3840, uh, 2160, yes. But to be a 4K, it's 2160, right? And because the format, the format of the screen is, you're not, gonna yes. get, you're not gonna get that. So that's why they do 1080. That's why they can go that harsh. So how will look a four, uh, plug in a PlayStation 5 here? I don't know. You're not gonna get 4K. Maybe it looks beautiful, but you're not gonna get 4K out of that. Now the displays I have, they are a 4K display, not an HDR display. That's something I figured out after. The one I had in front of me, the Asus display. And the was great. The thing, the only one thing I just didn't do yet is take my Xbox and plug it in my big screen. Didn't try that. I should try that and see how much different looks playing Assassin's Creed Valhalla on 120 hertz refresh rate versus 60 hertz. Now, why I, and why in my case, I didn't went crazy and get some of these displays, the other 120 for my PC, because right now there is no capture car that can do that. Only capture cars do that 60. There's one that does 240 but in 1080. So what would be the purpose for me to go and get the 120 hertz display when the only thing I can peel is 60? Because when I'm coming into my, my capture car, the output of the capture card will be 60 because that's the limit of the capture card. I was thinking for a second, well, how about if you put in a splitter? A splitter will not work either because the splitter, it will, cannot send two signals. So think what's going to happen, the signal comes out, it will sync to the same resolution. That's what I'm thinking. So if I send 60, it, it, <laughs> I can even send 120 because if I send 120, um, capture card will not, cap will not be able to work. So it's going gonna, it's gonna to slow down to the, it's like, it's like a pipeline, no? It's like you know, it's a, a, like a bottleneck. So it's going to switch to the to the bottleneck. So the bottleneck is my capture card is sixty, and I, I can I can split it. Split it means you have one box, one input comes in, and then two output goes out. And we see that sometimes we plug two display if you want one signal, kind of what I did here. So what I can, Menina sends a six signal yeah. and one display. I have another display in back and. And um, and then back wall, I can see that there, and it's one signal coming out, and it shows all the same. Yes, and have right. me saying that the stuff we were looking at is all so much money. So I'm like, okay, let me know what you're looking for and the budget, and then we can look for it. Yeah, I don't know what is what is thing that should we run seven hundred dollars, seven fifty? Let's see what they're going for now. Yep. Yeah, hi. See, this one. This is. Yep. New, new. Yep. This one, um, Black Friday, new one was seven hundred fifty dollars. It's seven seven twenty. Yes, exactly seven twenty nine something yeah. like that. Yeah. Well, that's the price right now because they sold out for the manufacturer. They sold out so much on Black Friday, mm -hmm. so but actually eventually should back come to out normal. Because remember, wasn't this one that was like one saw some something like crazy? Yeah. Well, so uh, after Black Friday, same thing went back to normality. Yeah, uh, thirteen hundred dollars something that way. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yes. And the manufacturer price was eleven hundred, and then they drop it to seven fifty. Yes. So they should uh, go Ohio, back. Ohio, welcome back, Ohio. How you doing, Ohio? So the thing with this monitor, and again for those, um, you know what, this is forty nine inches. 
everyone in the US knows what 49 inches is. I didn't know until like a few days back I decided to translate it to meters. This is one flower in meter and 25 centimeters. One meter and 25 centimeters off screen. That's amazing. Yeah. So if you know, if you don't need 4K, I think that's that's the way to go. Excellent. Yeah, that's the way to go. You need to break it in. in you still may. John B, welcome to Media Box in T on Amazon Live. John B, we're giving away uh, the Xbox Series S on December 21st. Happy Sunday, Ohio. Happy Sunday, guys. Eh? That's everything. To enter to win the Xbox Series S, so simple. Oh, there you got it. Has uh, the water there. Here follow. it is called. And send the screenshot says follow. Here it's called. Yes, I was trying to figure I had to get something warm. I'm like in tank top and shorts. Yeah. I don't think that's going to be proper to go outside now. I'm going to freeze my head. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what it is now. What is the, tem <coughs> what is the temperature now? Well, I have in Celsius, but I can. Oh, sure, three. Okay, let me give you. Three Celsius. Let oh, me give so you the link, Chombi. 36 second. maybe. Three Celsius right now. A lot of wind. That's oh, the thing. Hold on, hold on, it make it, it make it feel like 32 maybe. So it's about 35 <coughs> right now. Maybe 36, 35. Yeah. But okay, with the wind. Handy? Okay. Uh, here I got it. Uh, for what minute? Oh, you or have to put it in the chat. Oh, okay. Okay. No, 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 this is how it is. Copy paste that link. Press follow. It will say following. Take the screenshot and send it to the email. We are going to send you an email before we did do the Xbox Series S giveaway. And do remember, we're giving away the child next weekend, Friday or Saturday. You are super welcome. Yeah, so if it's Friday, it will be around after 7 o'clock, something no, no, that way, 6 o'clock. Don't worry about it. We know you're <laughs> yeah. So this will be around like uh, after, after 6, so guys check in. Oh, yeah, yeah. I don't know the time, but we're going to wait until it builds up. The way it's going to work is you have to be in it to win it. Absolutely. So you're going to be a rotating a spiel, a, um, wheel. Spinning. Spinning. Spinning wheel. We put all the names there. And then the set. We rotate it. We have some fun. And we just we go for it. And that will be the the game. And that will be this 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 Friday side. We see we see we need to get uh, we started Friday maybe a lot of people. There needs to be a lot of people to have some fun. And that will be the, for this uh, show. And then the the other one will be after six on the twenty first, full on a Monday. For that show. Absolutely. Right here on Media Box and T or on Amazon Live. And again, simple to enter, just follow Media Box and T. How do you win? Well, Sean. First you have to enter to participate. You copy paste that link, press follow, it will say following, take the screenshot and send it to the email. Step one. Step two, this is in it to win it. So when we do the giveaway. Before, we're going to email you and let you know we're going to do the giveaway for the Xbox Series S. So everybody comes here to party. And that's how you're going to know. If your name comes up on the wheel, then you're the winner. And you have like a minute to say, hey, I'm here. And then you have to send me an email with the address and then I ship it to you. The email, you will see it on the screen right now. You should see it on the screen right now, the email. It says giveaway mb at gmail.com. Let me see. Yes, it's there. That, yes, you're right, B. Yes, I believe you email them the screenshot that you follow. Exactly. It will say following. Okay, December 21st, we're giving away the Xbox Series S. And on Friday or Saturday, we're giving away the child from Star Wars. Okay, that's next week. Yes. That's how it is. Follow to win. Media Box in TV on Amazon Live. I was looking at the drive. I don't know. If to we remember the price. So this is Western Digital. Yes, I have one of those. Yeah, yes. here. Go over there. One second. There go. All right. I remember the less price. Maybe it's about the same. I mean, if you look at how much the drive has dropped, guys. Huh? This one is the... A eight terabyte. This is a red drive. This is perfect for guys if you're gonna run a NAS server. That will be the drive for you. So this one is eight terabytes and two hundred and twenty nine dollars. Let me see the six terabyte. That's what maybe what I was looking for. Oh, not available. See all the sellers. Let me see. Mm. Oh no, I don't want to buy used this one. One seventy nine. I can't remember the price. Can you buy those used? I will not buy used. I no. 
wooden, but I didn't know you could. No, buy. Uh, yes, I don't know you can buy used ones either. This is like new. I will not buy a juice dry. I mean, you have a lot of data there. Okay, this is ninety nine dollars. I might be good ninety nine dollars, but I have four terabytes. So for me, I would like to go six terabytes, or I can go eight. Eight terabytes. Uh, that's a nice eight terabytes. And that's a special for NAFS server. So if you have a lot of information to put into the drive, mm -hmm. you all the other barracudas too. But this is good. It has a warranty for five years. You can use any drive on the NAS. But if it works all the time and if you do a lot of things all the time. Going up this one in price? Maybe. $10, yes. $10, that's how much from form. Sense. And from Sabbath Monday, that's how much has changed. Mm -hmm. that maybe that's how much has changed. Western Digital, so. 8 terabytes red plus NAS internal hard drive. Yeah, that will be the uh, the drive go for. Expand At your network. WD, red plus NAS drive. Yeah. Backup and share. Oh, three Design years. I thought it was five. Or medium sized business ideal for archiving and sharing with up to 14 terabytes and build for uh, up to eight base. Yeah, oh, so you can put up to eight of these together. No, depends on the. Uh, what does it say, eight base? I was thinking about it because that's the. Normally you put five drive. Normally you put five. Why? It's because the device is. Or four or whatever. Five. No, I don't know. Mine, mine, is, mine, mine is four drive. What is mine? Let me see now it works mine. Yeah, look at it. Mine is uh, uh, four uh, four terabyte each, but it's still a lot of space. It depends depends if you do a lot of backup, if you do a lot of things on it. You know, if you if you do a lot of maybe let me see. Maybe we can show the screen here. Let me check. Tackle intensity worker. with WD Red Plus, packed with power to handle the small to medium sized business. So, ter uh, 10 to see, uh, free space, so uh, 6 to uh, for 10. So, if I uh, go into my uh, drive volumes, yeah, so it's 4 drive, array 5, there are 4 terabytes. Uh, I drive. So let me see something here. So four terabyte here. What I'm seeing here. Oh, I took that screen now. Oh, okay. Now this one. And let me see what I'm picking here. All right. So this is my. Uh, this is my NAS drive. Yeah, data, free space, six terabyte. See? That's my control panel. I see. I have an egg year uh, NAS drive. So thi this is. This awesome, Chombi. Um, Chombi sent an email to enter to win. Eight terabyte, uh, one was 149. Yeah, so uh, yeah, well, see, I don't want it. it. These are four terabyte drive. So three drive, they are array. And one is a oh parity. Wow. One one drive. So That's so total ten. Missed. So ten. Why do you say ten? Because if here in, to in total we got f if you did it out, so eight is total sixteen. Right? If you think about it, it's sixteen terabytes, right? But you're gonna get sixteen out of that. You see that? Because at least one drive it's total twelve. I think I should supposed to have like a twelve. Yeah, I'm one drive you're not count it. One drive is off. One drive one drive from here is, is the parity drive. One of these drive. It will always one is, is gets information from the rest of the drive. So in reality, I get only 12 out of here. So if I get 8 terabytes, I will get, I will have 16. I will have about 20 terabytes. That's a big, that's a big, big, big NAS. So I will have maybe 20 something terabyte. And the other one is just for that. Now the way to do it, but I'm not sure if I can do that, is take take one of these drive out of there and pop it in A. But I don't know if it's gonna format as A or as four, because I'm gonna look the rest in I think if they are all, all four, it's gonna do that way. 
Pues, if not, will be nice. Because I can take one draft at a time. Take one, let it build. Takes maybe a day. I don't know how long it takes to rebuild and rebuild the NAS or rebuild one drive. Then that will be eight terabytes. But in reality, in reality, all should be the same size. All should be the same size. So they work more efficiently. That's the way it is. Yeah. I have to search on it if you're allowed to do that. If I'm allowing me to, to replace one drive with the biggest drive. I think maybe it was just goes in form as a eight as a four terabyte. And it's not gonna do anything else. So it just, just all depends. So that's my control panel. Oh my NAS. I have two NAS. I have this one and and the, the one you call the C. You know the mm -hmm. one you call the C? Yeah. That that one that one is a strap a strapping mode. Two drives become one. The only thing if something goes wrong with that drive, you lose all data. Mm -hmm. If one drive that's dies, if one drive dies, both drives. Same thing in my computer right now. I got four terabytes dropping mode. One memory dies, it loses everything. Then you have to figure out the bad one, replace it, but all data is out because there's no backup. There's no, no, not, it's not checking there, right? Or you can put it like uh, array one, yeah. copies one next, copy one next, copy one next. It goes, whatever is here, copy back again, copy back again. So you put uh, eight terabytes. So you're wasting like two drive and it becomes only one, eight or right. The next one is just copied over, copied over information. So it's like a backup, totally backup all the time. Yes, and if you look at that, Nando's saying, I'm trying to see, oh, I saw for a second now, I don't see it anymore on my screen. And Nando says the eight terabyte is 228 from a seller, but look from the Amazon one, it's 199, eight, eight terabytes, 199.99. And I saw it for one second and now I don't see it anymore. You know oh. when you get from these sellers? Oh, okay. I think I don't see it now. I wonder if that is due to the location too. Now for the eight drives, I have only internal one. Internal RAM. What do they have to do with uh, internal RAM? Hard drive plus internal. Yeah, I was run. going there too, trying to find it now. Oh, that's maybe just to build a NAS. That's if you buy some NAS server. Yep. Yeah, that's what it's for. Oh, you see, yeah. What we got here? Oh, the Synology is still number one seller. It's a big company, yes. Yeah, this is a uh, like a huge company too. Yes, on drive um, NAS servers, yes. But it's only two drive. See, two big. You put only two there. Two drive, but so you, you have to be sure you use the. Eight. That's that's the nice one. Wait, it seems you can put four. That's the nice one. Four bay plus two gigabyte of RAM. And what is the difference between these two? I have this one here in the carousel. 549. Huh? Yeah, you have it there. What is the difference between these two? This is four. Okay. Six less. Four. Okay. You have no drive. Four gigabyte of RAM. Yeah, because this is this is a server. So also you can run other operations here. Oh, maybe you know memory? Oh, two gigabyte for memory. Oh, I see. I see. 499 or four. Uh, yeah. So more memory is yes, if you have to run some other uh, in a uh, five bay. Mm -hmm. Well, five bay. So it's being one thousand dollars. What is this? Yeah, I was right. I said a thousand. Yeah. This one. Six. Yeah, well, what happened here, now you can have a uh, four drive uh, as uh, as your all in one parity. One, one of the drive, you lose it, one of the drive. But let's go to normal size. Okay, two, this one. So, yeah, you put two drive, what else? Uh, USB. No, that's the power supply. Two networks, yeah. Brad, mine, welcome to Media Box mine has Amazon to, Live. Mine has a two. Oh, is this compatible with my desktop PC? I think it should be, Brad. Yeah, you talk about this. Yes. The, the nice drive. Oh yeah. Now the way uh, the way you set up this, you you don't have to even have a close to your PC. What you do is whatever you have your router. So let's say if you have, my guess I have a class. So let's say you have a class where you have your router, right? If it doesn't get super hot there. That's why you put this thing. You connect it right in the network. Now, you can have this next to your PC if you want. 
But the nice thing about this device, you just put it right in the network, and after the installation, then you see it as a part of your shared network. So the nice thing is that everyone at home, you can create different partitions or different directories inside there. Okay, my That's case, right. I, my case, I have my videos. Okay, so my MP3s, movies, whatever you want, right? You can create, and you allow access to each computer or user if you want. The nice thing on one of these devices too, you can run applications. It doesn't tell you here. I don't know if it says here, but allow you to run different type of application, like Plex. Like a, like a multimedia server. So you can run a Plex server here. So you can have, um, I don't know, 1,000 movies there. And then automatically will come on if you have a PlayStation 4, PlayStation 3, 5, Facebox, or Forms. And it shows up the server there. You can play there. So you can use that for that. Or if you put Plex server, you can play now from anywhere around the world. If you, if you get the, what they call the unlimited license. What allow you now is streaming out of, out of the Euro box from anywhere. You can share to friends and families uh, that Plex and uh, everyone can like in and enjoy movies, right? It will use part of your network. It will use part of your um, and, um, and bandwidth, but you can do that too. You can use for a backup, you know. You can use uh, for a smart security solution too, 24 7. So if you got cameras or something, you can use that. As your the, um, as your uh, for um, security solution, so they have a lot of apps here. Uh, you can install. They will tell you that. Now you have to remember there is a limit because there is so much SP and so much memory you can have there. So if you go crazy, you start installing all kinds of things. You will slow down the box. Everything will get slow. So we have to remember this is a. This is a, 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 like a network server, so you don't want to go crazy and load up a lot of things. So you have to figure out what you're going to do. You can run an FTP server. You can run a, a bunch of stuff on these things. That's what is nice. But the main thing is is to, you know, back up your st things. Back up your, uh, what I did, I run another software in my computer, and once a week, automatically backups and backups to the network. You can go beyond that. You can back up here and say you open uh, an S3 bucket on Amazon and they automatically back up to an S3. So you have backup of a backup. So in case something, something goes wrong the, 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 to this box, you can always bring those back again. Synchronize all automatic. Depends, right? Depends the way you want to run this thing. And this is the same device than the Terra Master that you have on the carousel, right? Oh, it seems like the same, but different company. Yeah, oh, different no, company, different color. Yeah. No, same company. Let me see what, no. what we have in the this carousel. This one is Terra Master, and that one is Synology, I think. Oh, Synology. Okay. It's a different company. So the way it works, when you have like five bays or four bays here, in this case, we have what, four bays. There's a dual core, the SP. That's the mm -hmm. SP. You know, see Plex Media Server. So this one, you can run a Plex Server. The other one's two. And against two network, God, yes, you have USB 3.0. So what I allow you to do now, if you have an external drive, you, that you can map it, and that becomes available for everyone on the network. Right, I do that too, as well too. Or you can use it as a backup. Again, this is a backup internal. You can use a time machine for Mac, external storage, like I was telling you there, cloud backup. It's a having your own Dropbox. Or having your own uh, G... G drive, it, you have control of that. Thermo Master is a big company doing all kinds of towers and they do it, uh, also a lot of those uh, cooling things for CPUs. And you see here, yes, 4K, you can transfer there and then you can, yes, yes, you can, you see, use a big uh, Plex, uh, what else? Um, yeah, we have Roku, DNA, so that shows every, everyone in the network or what was the other one? Um, I think I know. So it will show up everywhere. Now remember, the, when you put the drive, put all the same size. You have to put this drive the same size. So now try to put a 3 terabyte, then a 4, then a 5. If 5 A's here, you are ready 5. So a 4 drive will be your uh, main drive, and 1 will become the parity one. So if you have uh, a 4 terabytes, you will have 4, 8, 16 terabytes. The other one is just to keep tracking the other the other so you have about 16 maybe 15 terabytes if you had four of those drive and then what happened is it will build it will i'm sure it will take a while to build the array sometimes it takes hours so after it's built 
Let's say now that the worst case is one you drive die and it will charge you the system. This drive is bad. Mm -hmm. Drive bay number three. Take the drive out, put a new drive in real time, and it will rebuild it. You lose none, none of What's the data. What's the stuff that you had inside? Nothing. So there, we not lose it because one drive is, is the one separity one. It wants it. It keeps all the information. Now, it's two drive that I'm not sure. I think it's two drive that maybe you lose the data. But normally, it's normally you know, I don't think the occasion the two drive die. You can take one. You can have swappable. You take one drive out, put that new one, and the system will rebuild the rebuild itself. I think it might want to rebuild the whole like a whole entire day. But it rebuilds. It rebuilds alone. You leave it there and it rebuilds. Yeah, exactly. yeah. That's what it. Well, that's it's not that you look like that you lose all No, stuff. that's why they go no, to Array no, Five. That is that that mode. You can roll Array Five. You can roll Array One. You can run Array Zero. Array Zero is the best for the speed. So you know, a speed then, uh, but you don't want to do. I noticed on my Amazon <laughs> Amazon page on the top. Do you see that you have something that says Toshiba? Yes. You know what I have? What I have there? Two hours grocery delivery pickup and a picture of food. <laughs> oh, for yours? <laughs> yeah. It I depends on what you're browsing and what I'm browsing, it seems like. <laughs> yeah. And make sure you grab, uh, if you're going to build this, uh, make sure you grab it. You can use any drive. You can look what to recommend. But if you're going to go the right way, in my case, I don't have that way. That's what I'm looking I need to do. That mine, I have black drive. You can use those. But uh, if you read the small print, some of these, some of these units, they will tell you that if you need customer support, right? Sometimes you need customer support from there for to give you a year customer support. Mm -hmm. It will tell you if you need to use the drive they recommend it, then you have to pay for it. You have to pay for it. They will not, they will not uh, help you. They log in into the box and try to help you. They tell you that. I remember it reading in mind. Because, okay, because he Because might be uh, technically you're using a drive that is not meant for it. So kind of washing okay. the hand and says, you know what, you're not using the drive. Then you when you put different, ca different gas in your car. Right. And they, they keep a whole list. The drive recommended. Uh, if the drive recommended, you use it, that's fine. This is one of the drive. That's what we're looking here. Mine, I have the regular black drive. They get mm -hmm. black. Now they're bad. It's fine for now. It's been running for the last three years. But in reality, you're supposed to use NAS drive. There are other companies, but this is one. So I'm looking at the eight terabyte. So I have four bay in mine. So four bay. So in reality, I have a four bay to four terabytes. So in reality, I have about 10, 11 terabytes for free because the other one is a parity one. So don't count. If I put four of this drive, then I have almost like a 20 terabyte, right? 20 terabytes. So free space. There's a lot. Yeah, that's a lot. I still have six, so if you need backup lot of computers, right? That's that's a good way to to do that. You know what I mean? Yeah? Excellent. So yes, this one was the Western Digital, the red one. You can yeah. put a whole bunch of stuff in there. Yeah. Then you have the Barracuda drive, you have other drives you can uh, look into it, but but this one is uh it's a good, uh, real good drive. I mean, so I, I think uh, maybe it's good for today. Well, not for today, just for now. Okay. All right. I'm going to take a little break. And then we'll come back in a little bit. Hey, come back in, yes. Oh, before I go, guys, uh, one thing I want to and just highlight the cr credit card. Yes. If you guys okay, go gift on card. gift card, yes. Okay, I'm going to it. Yeah. Yes. So if you guys anything? go, yeah. Uh, if you guys trying to go a little crazy and figure out what kind of you, not, you don't want to go crazy, no, you're trying to go crazy. Yeah. You're well, trying, trying to, to go yeah. Well, if you're going crazy now, I'm saying it, you don't want to go crazy. Exactly, or stop being crazy. You stop being crazy. Trying to find the gift or the and perfect gift. Yeah, and you're trying to find the perfect gift for somebody. And sometimes, what I say, the perfect gift if what you love is what you want to give somebody. Most of people do not get a gift that you don't like. Maybe there is possible somebody up there, but normally yes. Why do you think it's good for you? Maybe it's not for the other person. Come the, come the, yeah, but sometimes it happened that way. So I need a solution for that. Hey, just go for the MasterCard gift card. Yeah, it's nice. I mean, I put you a $200 value from here, but you can always check check below and you have all the values, right? You can, what do you do? When you click right on in our um, shopping cart, right over here in our carousel, it will allow you to go and see all the cars as well too. So do not go crazy. 
And that's a two hundred dollar value in this case. So maybe can somebody they love to go out for dinner. I mean, case I like to mm-hmm. go for dinner. And they say, what if I see they sell that on somewhere else online? That's why you want to avoid that from happening. You're not yeah. gonna see your coffee yeah. anywhere there. We use it all the time. Yes. So this is. Oh, we did a video. I did a video, Ronaldo. Oh, the we finally maker. made the video. Yay! So maybe next time and the next run uh, we add the coffee. I show the video. Not is fully produced yet, but we can still uh, get to show. Them. Yeah, uh, we just send it to V Edit and put it all yeah, together. Exactly. But we can we can show that in the next round, the coffee maker. So this is a Mastercard gift card. It's super crazy convenient because they can use it anywhere and get whatever they want to, like from Amazon to restaurants to everything else. It becomes super crazy convenient. Yep. And you remove the headache of trying to find the best gift for that special person. And you know what? Oh, it can be oh, okay. It can be used. Uh, oh, in some states you cannot use it. Is it there? Yes. Some restrictions on Hawaii, Kansas, New Mexico. Don't move the screen because I'm reading from the screen. Um, That's weird. What would it have? I don't know. U.S. Virgin Island. That makes some apply. sense. Hawaii, Kansas, New Mexico, yes, South Dakota, uh, U.S. Oh, my. Virgin do pay Island. attention to that. You don't want the gift card to be sold. <laughs> Burmout. What's up with where? Wow. And West Virginia. Vermont. Yeah. What's up with that? Wow. I don't okay. know. Okay. Okay. Uh, Yeah. Huh. Maybe uh, they might have another fees or something like that. Maybe no, that's what I it is know. because you will use uh, this gift card in whatever way, whatever place you can use a MasterCard. Yeah, it's weird. It's one of those things. Hmm. Puerto Rico, resident too. Now we go for Puerto Rico. Huh. Well, well, Puerto Rico and US Virgin Islands, I believe, might make some sense because they might have different laws even though they are supposed to be part of the US. Yeah. Yeah, hmm. maybe just get an Amazon one and those says yes. Yeah, I can do that too. Hey, come over here and check. Yes, yeah, I'm you still got a bunch of stuff to make a nice tray of food, like a restaurant style. Oh, yeah, the and you order there. Yes, oh, yeah, nice, uh, nice barbecue. Like out, yes, but from Amazon, and yes, barbecue. Yeah, yeah, mm. exactly. Okay. I feel like eating meat now. Oh, All right. gosh, meat, or you want to try the chicken that Nando said the other day that we didn't have like in over 15 years, probably. What was the that? Ch- Chinese chicken. Oh, yeah, that's been a long time. I t- yeah, there's a Chinese place here, but I don't know what to order. I don't know either. I don't even know how to do that. <laughs> it's been time I ordered Chinese. That would be like uh, 20 years ago. I don't know. I don't no. remember. I don't even know how to do that, no. Yeah, it's quite easy to order like, ch- and, um, the, like chicken. Like whatever everybody's Chicken having. fried, what is it? Yeah. <laughs> With rice. Fr- chicken fried rice. Oh. Uh, yeah. One of those. Yeah. Oh, uh, on the application. Oh, since you can use an application to order food now. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, they are. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> Welcome to Media Box TNT on Amazon Live, guys. Remember to follow Media Box TNT on Amazon Live. We're giving away the Xbox Series S on December 21st. And next Friday or Saturday, we're giving away the child from Star Wars. All right. Uh, I'll see you in a, in a little bit. Yeah. All right, guys. We're going to decide what is going to happen in our tummy tonight. Stomach. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Right. See Bye. you in a bit. Bye for Bye. now.